go to Iraq. E I, even though it's a video, the audio. Can't watch. Skater wuss fight. Oh. All right, we'll try to find it. But he starts. Uh, he go. <laughs> I can't even do it. <laughs> All right, we'll go, we'll get that audio for everybody. <laughs> It's, we can't get to YouTube, so it's like... That's what I like to do. Almost, I like to have a nice discussion and bring to a screeching halt no, like, <laughs> with, with a video that no one can find. It's all find. good. Uh, we lost Paul, too. That's fine. And David tells here. How about we take a break and regroup? we got to catch Very up Very good. Anyway. Hey, I want to go a quick plug to Dennis Leary's book signing tonight. We said we would. It's at Borders Pen Plaza in New York City. Tonight, 7 to 8 p.m., the whole cast of Rescue Me will be signing that book. Yeah. Because uh, he was great yesterday. So. He was awesome on the show yesterday. Yeah, a lot wanna, of fun. want to meet the cast of Rescue Me. They're at that uh, book signing tonight. Cool. So we got David Tell, Bill Burr, playing Caroline's all weekend long. We'll find out where Dave's going to be, and uh, we'll continue. It's Opie and Anthony. 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 It's the Opie and Anthony Show. Yeah, rolling right along. Opie and Anthony, full house today. We got Bill Burr. He's playing Caroline's all weekend long. Of course, Jim Norton's here every day doing his thing. And uh, we got David Tell on the couch, who's, uh, I think, HBO special premieres this weekend, right? Yeah, December 8th. Very, very and, cool. Hey, uh, how's it going, guys? Thanks for having me in after the pedophile uh, long <laughs> remix bit. <laughs> <laughs> were, were you guys talking about Chris Hansen? Yeah. Well, yeah. he's kind of ruined it for everybody. You can't really hang out with a kid in an innocent way anymore because uh, adults are just paranoid. Did anybody, because you guys know like Bill or whatever, I, who has the joke where they go like, he, uh, Chris Hansen is the blade of uh, catching, you know, of like pedophilia. <laughs> you know, remember like, uh, what's his name? Like, he's like half vampire, half whatever. He like knows their ways, knows what they like, you know. <laughs> it's like mall rock climbing. Mm, sounds like a place for a pedophile to hang. You know, I, <laughs> yeah, he knows. But Dave, he's got to take a I serum think, okay, to keep think. himself from just going out there and, and abusing kids himself. Yeah. You, you bring up a great point. Chris Hansen has sat on that couch a couple times. He there's, has. There's something not right about him. When you yeah. look in his eyes, you're uh, like, all right, what is this really about, Chris? He's, he's got a double side to him. And, uh, yeah. you know, I think that, uh, you know, everybody wants to be on that show. I think that's the new Byron <laughs> Allen. <laughs> you, know, you know, it was kind of flattering, sort of, for our show, because uh, one of our listeners got caught in one of his really? things and goes, oh, I saw you on Opie and Anthony yeah. once. He goes, you were great on Opie and Anthony. <laughs> oh, you saw clip? me on Opie and Anthony. The management doesn't really like when we play this clip because it's not good for, for, for Madison the image, Avenue. But, uh, uh, the image. It's a holiday clip. The guy actually heard Chris Hansen on our show and still got caught in one of those houses. Let's just, uh, you know, they should turn lemons into lemonade and just have the salespeople go after Osh Gosh Bagosh. <laughs> and then Chris Hansen wants our emails one day. He's like, hey, you know, I've been on the show a couple times. Uh, how about we exchange emails? I'm like, oh boy. F no. That's one thing you don't want. I, mean, I have, I'm not hiding anything, but that's the last thing you want to do is give Chris Hansen any of your info. You know, Here's that, an email he from Greg Dot Hughes. Right. You, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I was in, uh, I was in New York going in a restaurant one time and it was like a celebrity sighting that only I think Jim and Bill, we, we would enjoy. You know the people that play the bait on that show? Like, they're like these kind of tweener-looking girls. Yeah. You know, like actresses. <laughs> they couldn't get in a high school musical or anything like that. So this is what they're doing, you know? So I, I saw one of those girls because I was watching the show, the you know, Chris Hansen show. And uh, I was like, that's that girl. She's the bait. You know, she'd be the, like the one. That, I'll be out in a minute, you know? <laughs> Put, you know, put take off your pants, and if you got a gun or a taser or a ball gag, put it on the counter. You know, <laughs> if you want to start dialing a lawyer, you know that that little like you know yeah. Pollyanna thing. So, <laughs> so dialing a lawyer. Yeah, so it's like uh, I saw her in a restaurant with the girl from Sex in the uh, City, the redhead one. You know, oh, yeah, kind uh, of butch. Yeah, what's her name? Uh, uh, Miranda uh, Nixon. Uh, what? Uh, yeah, Cynthia, Cynthia Nixon. Cynthia, yeah, Cynthia yeah. Nixon. Whatever she plays on the show, I don't know. So I went up to them. They were sitting at the table. I go, I'm a huge fan. And like Cynthia's like, mm. and I go, no. I was like, mm, uh, of you, but really of the bait of this girl. <laughs> you really recognized her? Come yeah, on. I did. And I got an autograph. And I'm like, and, uh, and I looked at what she signed. And it said like, uh, thanks for the blah, blah, blah. Stay off of my space. Wink, wink. So that's where they're, you know, they're, they're trolling. They're just joking about it. They're so That's the hysterical. I, <laughs> I sent it. I sent a MySpace message to the girl who put, one of the girls who plays the bait, the, the original one, and she said, "I try to get her on the show." And she's like, "Well, you have to contact producers and stuff like that." She wouldn't just come on the show. Yeah, I'm sure yeah, that's is MySpace are in here. Or? She, I forget her real name, but yeah, she's, she's, yeah. she's accessible. She's I'm sure that's why you first she's cute, sent too. it. Yeah, she's really <laughs> cute. She's like hey, twenty. Hey, before uh, <laughs> wearing nothing but a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Before the break, uh, Bill turned us on to this uh, video, and that's what you saw as you walked in, Dave. Uh, us all laughing as you're trying to say hi to everybody. I apologize for that. 
But uh, on YouTube, there's a video called Wussy Skater Fight. You want to explain this again, Bill? We finally got it. Yeah, Fantastic. it's basically uh, some sort of fat kid has some sort of a whip or something, a stick. He tries to hit this little skinny kid with a skateboard. He hits him once, and then the kid just takes his skateboard. I think he hits him in his, the back of his thigh. It's yeah. like Charlie Horse area. Yeah, yeah he and really the kid goes him. down like he's been shot with, I don't know what, and, <laughs> and lets out this wail like, I don't know, like a like a loved one just died. And he's not going to live this down is what you're uh, yeah, They're like, about, how old would you say they are? 14, 13. 14. Yeah, maybe there. maybe around there. And, and the, the fat kid that winds up crying at the end whipped the kid with like a... He what can only be called a switch back in the old days. <laughs> Go out and grab a switch. Bit of hickory. Yeah, it's some hickory. <laughs> and uh, it hits him with it, and the kid just came back and throws a skateboard at him. Which you should do, right? And you would think he would just go, ah, you know, F you or something like that. But he just goes Listen. flat down and lets out a cry that only a girl would. Listen for the cry. It's quick. You! <laughs> <laughs> that's that's fantastic. it. Why does that end? That's fantastic. Who turned the uh, camera off? That was I got up and kicked him. <laughs> yeah, he's. That's it. I want the long version of that. That's all it is. The video's eleven seconds long. I had to watch it like five times, like to even realize it wasn't fake. I'm like, there's no way he just cried. Like he's one of those kids who's already like six two, but he still hasn't hit puberty. <laughs> yeah. You know those kids? He's, he still has all the baby fat. Yeah, and there he is perfect. crying on the street. One more time. Hey, add that to the Steve uh, sounds. They can mix that into some rock songs. Laughing like a, stock. Like yeah. a haunted pottery barn. <laughs> uh, and then people are uh, bringing up the other video of the fat kid on the log in the woods. Uh, that's another good one. What, are they shooting at him or something? Yeah, they're yeah. shooting at him with some kind of gun. I don't know, BB gun or something. They're saying that's the best crying He's video. saying, stop, stop. He starts crying. Stop it, stop it. That's Wait. the best kid crying video ever. All these little moments that used to just happen and were gone when you were a kid. I mean, everyone knew those situations. You know, you had the kid that, that you'd, you'd smack in the head. You'd have a dirt bomb fight and someone would throw a rock. Crying. Everyone would run. They were just moments, but now, I mean, they're captured for everyone to enjoy the humor of some little kid getting hurt. <laughs> Amazing. I love it. It seems to be fat kids with friends with cameras. Yeah, so, yeah. You know, like as long as you got a camera, few friends, and the fat kid, you're in. You're making YouTube. It's like Hey Tubbs, what are you up to today? <laughs> I'll bring my camera. Want to come I'll out to the woods? Of laughs. Yeah, come on out to the woods. It's Lord of the Flies, there man. Really are no sounds better than a fat boy being whipped. <laughs> really is music. It's just a bad dream, fat boy. <laughs> ow! Ow! Skateboard! Ow! <laughs> Why? Why? Where is the Sean Penn of their generation to protect? Like in Bad Boys, you know, he like sit up for that kid with the nose. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Harlot. Yeah, where, where is that? Where's the show? Hey, that's not right. Leave, <laughs> leave Piggy <laughs> alone. Ain't Give me gonna that happen. tape. <laughs> ain't gonna happen. <laughs> All right. Hey, uh, we got a woman that's upset with her butt implants. You want to hear this? What? Mm. Just kind of throwing some stuff oh. in the old CD player here. Yeah, sure. Uh, David Tell, HBO this Sunday. Also, mm -hmm. Caroline's uh, the December 27th through 30th. Oh, first, let me clear something up with Dave, because, oh, uh, oh, oh my no. God. This could uh, get a little I awkward. I was, down, I was down at the put, cellar. Put down the camera. Put down the camera. <laughs> yeah. You're not going to whip me, Put down the camera. You're not going to whip me crying. like a West Virginia fat boy, are you? <laughs> Go ahead. I was down at the cellar, mm -hmm. uh, catching your set. Laughing. When? when Having a good time. Oh, this is a while ago. Okay. Yeah, a while ago. Thanks. And, I am uh, an alcoholic. I had, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So am I. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, why not? Okay. Uh, had a table with uh, three, three girls at the table mm -hmm. and me sitting there enjoying the set. In front of us, closer to the stage, yeah. was another table full of what I would gather you comics just call Pains in the ass. Get out of the effing club. You're yapping. You're nice you're, you're making. Oh, well, yeah, okay. <laughs> you, you're just you're just making a very difficult time for the comic. Okay, yeah. So uh, you had turned around, mm -hmm. looked right at me, and pointed at me. Yeah. Now I had been going to comedy clubs for years. I I'm friends with a lot of comics. I know the protocol. Right. Shut the f up. Laugh at the funny parts. Don't try to be the 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 act for the night. Mm -hmm. He's up on stage. 
you lambasted me. I did as the guy that was making the noise. And and then I'm and I even tried much. Uh, I didn't have the mic, so I tried. I was like, "No, it's not me. Shut up! You <laughs> laid you laid into me, and I was sitting there like, it's not me. I know how to act in a comedy club. I did, but, and then everyone's looking at me like I'm the douche. Hey, you know what? Yeah. I hate to be all Blackwater about it, but uh, collateral damage. <laughs> you know? yeah. What can I tell you? The boys will back me up here. You know, sometimes. Yeah. sometimes collateral I gotta, damage. They got, I, I, I apo- and I have to say one thing. Don't apologize. Because I saw Jim's special, and when you two stood up. <laughs> it, it was amazing, wasn't in it? In the sea of seat fillers and uh, <laughs> people who were promised if you come to this, you might get on America's uh, Dance with the Stars. <laughs> You guys are the most blendable uh, people I've ever seen. Yeah, you were, true. Because I know now I'm like, thinking like, yeah, I have seen you at the club. Yeah. But you like blend right in. I know. Um, I, I all but of a sudden was the a hole. No, it it actually made for a funny story. I was just uh, I was so pissed that well, night. I'm like, saying, but I was what? helping him. I was only helping. Him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was. In. I know that's the worst. I was, I was helping. helping the show better. <laughs> I know he needs someone to work off of. If you could come, if. <laughs> We all have to pitch together because there's a problem, and I'm glad you guys are giving me a chance to come on here because we are inundated right now in this city with Europeans with a lot of money that's worth as much as our money. Oh, my God, and yeah. this hasn't happened since, I don't know when, maybe the 1800s or something. <laughs> there's Canadian people walking around like they have a real country. There's all these Europeans. They come down to the comedy cellar, and they just stare. They don't get it. And then you have to attack them because you, you know, it brings up your own inner, you know, self hatred. <laughs> they're, they're like kind of verifying what you already know. Yeah. <laughs> you're I don't know. Are you guys running into that? <laughs> yeah, the Canadians are feeling pretty important right now. Yeah. Even Isn't the their, mo- their money's worth more than ours at this, right? For the first time in a long time, right? Yeah. Yeah. Their dollars uh, worth more than ours? Yeah, a little more. And it's like, well, how did that, when did that happen? We goofed on their money for years. It's, I think it's an even, it's even Steven right now. And the <sighs> shekel is coming up. <laughs> the shekel. A couple of shekels. Really... I, saw, I saw Bill Burr recently. I got to keep going back to the last time I saw you. He was taping his latest DVD. And he's killing, man. Killing. It was a big theater downtown. And remember the guy was completely asleep at your show. And you're like, what the F My is this about? My whole set, there was this guy... Like I mean, like that. Not you know, your head yeah. wakes oh, you up. Not God. even just a little Do, tired. This guy that. was like, uh, you know. You know, what I found out later. Race. He was one of the guys in the crowd. He was on something, and oh. he was freaking people out. Who's gonna be awesome? And, you know, by the time oh, the show shit, started, yeah. he was like passed out. So of course, this kid's like right in the third row. So the entire time, you know, as a comedian, that's all I'm focusing on. Right, right. I'm just like, oh, this no. DVD is going to put people to sleep. They're going <laughs> to nod off. This is, te- no. I suck. I'm terrible. Dude, you, you should know, have had nothing to do with Bill Burr. You should have smashed him and said something like, gee, sir, am I keeping you up? <laughs> 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 I, I was like, when you see the guy who's sleeping and he's like wearing a suit, so you know, like he's not like trash or anything or whatever. And then uh, like later you find out, it's like, well, I'm sorry. I say, like, hey, dude, uh, what's the matter? Not funny, blah, blah, blah. And then it's like, uh, I run a burn unit and, uh, you know, single handedly <laughs> saving house, something, lives. And you're like, oh, I feel like. Dude, sorry. I was doing it. I used to do They used to do a, a thing at Sloan Kettering, uh, uh, the cancer uh, uh, awards here in New York. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I want to host that. Right. The winner of uh, the slowest walk to the bathroom is. Oh I was, uh, no, I was, I would go there and do these, these gigs. They would have Tuesday night, you know, to make the, to cheer the patients up. <laughs> And I was doing it one time. And you? This, yeah, I know. I Who know. was the second choice for that? <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, well, I wasn't the only one, but I was one of many. Okay. So I was performing, and this one guy was just staring at me the whole time, and I was just kept addressing how this guy hates me, and I'm bombing. So afterwards, like, he walked over, and he's like, I- I'm sorry I wasn't laughing. I'm just not feeling very well. Oh, <laughs> oh That's what I want to hear. Great. <laughs> and you patted him on the back, and he spit up blood? No, I blood. punched him in the face, and I said, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> so you should have stayed in the room. <laughs> You <laughs> set wrecker. Oh, I was really felt bad. I meant set wrecker. wrecker. Right. The cancer gig is the gateway to the uh, <laughs> yeah. telling kids they're adopted. On well, they Chris wouldn't Hansen. let me onto the AIDS ward until I proved myself and, <laughs> and got a tape. <laughs> That's part of your reel. I'm sad. <laughs> so you want to hear about butt implants or what? Right, let's do it. All right. And in Knoxville, Tennessee, a woman is having a hard time bending over after she had implants placed in her rear end. The woman paid $5,500 to have a more curvy figure. Sorry, that's crazy video there. However, here implants have drooped. Her implants have drooped. 
Drew causing extreme pain. Now, if you need a laugh this morning, come out and look at this. <laughs> Whenever she bends over, and even when she sits wow, for an extended amount of time, now she says she wants them removed, but has lost trust in the doctor and is trying to find one that she feels could trust to do the right job. Wow. Okay. I want to see it. There's your news right there. Mm. I want to see the video of the chick with the... <laughs> the butt implants? Yeah, I felt them before. Like certain uh, Really? Hooker, yeah, yeah. Hookers certainly comes to have them, and they just feel like... they feel like. Uh, Wait, hookers have them. butt implants? Well, I mean, a couple of them, yeah. You can feel that there's something not right. I hooked up one time. Something not right. <laughs> you know what? I came back off the road one time. Something alien. <laughs> <laughs> and I felt... I, I still think this was a post-op tranny. And I, so we had sex, and something felt... Now, wrong. that's not a band, is it? <laughs> I always thought that was a band. Go ahead. <laughs> Post-op training, right after Sweet Charlie. <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. And, uh, Sorry, uh, that's, I, I didn't really have a story to it. I just kind of felt that there was something wrong. I, I could feel like it, it didn't feel right. And uh, and then the ass, the something felt plastic about it. Uh, yeah. It was in hindsight, I realized that that was... Oh, that's <laughs> odd. Well, what was she doing as you were uh, realizing she had a fake ass? Uh, helping me finish. I, mean, uh. I, I didn't stop. <laughs> so how do, how do they do... Where do they go in for that? They just go under the cheek? I don't know, actually. There's they, the video. They do it in Brazil a lot. Brazil a lot. Video's up over there. Really? Brazil? They need it? We'll link this on onaradio.com later Ew. today. What? That looks, what is that? It's a breast implant. It looks like a, like a... Oh, my God. She's got a boob uh, on her oh butt. Oh, my God. How do you, how do you explain that? It's a butt that? boob. Are you a big-butted guy? I mean, do you like... Uh, I, oh, I, ah! What's oh going God. on there? That's her without her pants on. Stop. What the F is that? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm going to get sick. How I don't do you, know what that is. How do you Rocky explain Dennis's that? Head. <laughs> Rocky Dennis's head. <laughs> Just go to uh, onaradio.com later today. We'll link what oh, we're screaming wow. at. She what looks, is that? Tupperware. How do you, what it is? It's a. It's a. Uh, how do you oh, explain that? Seriously, I can't. It looks nice. I can't even figure it out. Uh, Never mind. Explain it. I'm looking at it, and I can't it, work out where it. What? It's a bunion. A, no. a bunion. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow, we're uh, we don't know how to explain this. It's like a bike helmet. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a bike helmet yeah. under her skin. There you go. <laughs> it's got all my dreams oh. in there. <laughs> <laughs> that is disgusting. All right, we'll get that video up later. Wow. Hey, let's say hi to Steven in Canada. That's a lawsuit. Steven. Hey, brother. What's going on? What's going on, man? What's hi. up? We got David Tell in the studio today. Oh, that's cool. And many uh, others. I'm in Toronto. Now I'm in Toronto now. Yep. Um, I love you guys up here. A lot of you guys, you guys are starting to spread up here. Yep. Uh, you guys were talking about the Canadian dollar. Yep. Yeah. It's actually, it's actually kind of funny, dude, because um, if you didn't know already, all these Canadians, we're all starting to rush down to the States because the way we see it is now that our dollar is at par, everything's way cheaper down in the States. So everyone's coming down there. So it's funny. These Canadian retailers, mm -hmm. they're all scrambling to now start competing with American prices. Oh. Thank you for oh, that wow. little economics lesson. What are they buying? Bobsleds and Parkers and you know, <laughs> <laughs> snowmobile. I don't. Know. I, was, I was just thinking that this show Canadians going, are the most polite people, aren't yeah, they? Yeah. I was thinking this show was going so well that we really needed someone to like kick us in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Stephen, for that interesting comment. You know what you need to do though. Go wow. well, on the internet and look up Rick Mercer's talking to Americans. I think you'll like it. Whoa. Wow. What is that about? Canadian perspective. Very challenging, Randall. Mm. All right, well. I wish we had the money to fight you on this one, but we <laughs> I'll be able to clean your house later. All right, we'll check that out. Let's say hi to Tim in Missouri. Tim, what's up? Hey, what's going on, man? I just wanted to thank uh, Dave Attell. I was in Iraq last year, and I saw him on uh, July 31st at Camp Liberty at uh, one of the MWR sites. And, you know, we were all going there. We know how sometimes when the uh, MWR and the Mil USL bring com comedians over, it was, it was like, Holy cow, this is really Dave Vitell. There was no skimming down, and we really appreciate everything you did for us. Well, uh, you know, well, I don't know what to say, but that was probably the, the highlight of my uh, year, definitely, because uh, uh, going over there, you know, I, I really, I don't know, Jim, I know you, you've you been over there a couple times, but uh, you really, it's the best shows you can ever do, and uh, a great time just hanging with you guys, and it's really freaking hot over there, and I don't know how you do it. Me, me and do you yell at the soldiers for um, speaking <laughs> up during it? Yeah. Pipe down! <laughs> the Republican guards screaming yes. and he's yelling at the U.S. Troops. Enough with the howitzer, I'm trying to do comedy. <laughs> me, and, me and Colin did a show on the back of a flatbed truck for like 35 army guys that had just come in from a field, and they just sat there on these like picnic park benches and watched us, and they were fantastic. They are the best shows, because the crowds are really happy over there. Well, Jim, I draw when I'm over 
over there. I'm looking at two, three. <laughs> yeah, 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 I sold it. <laughs> no, but uh, the, the best part is that like you, you do the show and then like uh, you know you jump onto something like a plane or whatever, and then you're you're like moving to the next space. Yeah. And it's cool that you get to do get to see and you know be a part of like it's amazing. So uh, thank you very much, man, for uh, coming out. And like I said, all the dudes who I saw over there, first rounds on me. If you see me in a club. So. All right. All right, there you go. All right, so everyone that just heard that, yeah, know, just, really, just look at the tells calendar, tell, figure out where he was, and say you were there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you guys had the nerve to go over there because I, I would never go. It was over what, there. Really, Bill? Oh, are you kidding me? Go but over it, to a war zone. But it's, it's like, sad you that you'll what? be playing I'll, one of us in a movie about going over there. Yeah. <laughs> He's the best looking one in the room. <laughs> I'll do. Uh, I'll I'll play a bass, like in New Jersey. I, I I'm not gonna go there and get my face insured. I'm not gonna go there and get my head sawed off. Those guys, you know, that's, right. that's Bill no... Burr live from Fort Monmouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not a marine. I don't know how to shoot guns, and you know, they, my luck, that's what's gonna happen. All of a sudden, something crazy is gonna happen. They protect you though. Oh, yeah, I'm sure they do. They're they're, that around. would be like yeah. the one huge offensive where the base you're at is this huge secure base, but it gets completely overrun, and <laughs> oh, yeah. someone hands, yeah. hands you a rifle and just goes, dude, you got to. You have to. Yeah, and there's Bill Burr in a no foxhole one. just going, what, what do I do? How do I get the safety off? I didn't go to basic. <laughs> then I'm on YouTube rocking slowly in the orange jumpsuit. Wouldn't that be somebody amazing? Somebody reads a manifesto that... above oh. me. No. <laughs> I'll go to any barracks here in the States. <laughs> I, I thought you were like a rough and ready dude, though. I thought you like you know you jump on. Yeah, that, but right? I'm also one of those guys. Uh, I I I have very realistic uh, perspective of what I'm capable of. Mm. And uh, yeah, if I haven't gone through basic training, you don't want any. Yeah, part I mean, yeah. All right, hey, look, I'm we're... pushing forty. It's over, man. Well, I can't the, plane... handle... wow. the heat alone's gonna kill me. The plane we were on actually got hit by mortar. Oh, cool. I really? Love it. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I was fine. I took very good care of us. It was very safe. I mean, Bob, I Bobby was telling me, he was trying to tell me he was over there and, and somebody, you know, they had to do these maneuvers and somebody yeah. was shooting at him. It's just like, dude. They probably he, thought he, he was an Iraqi, right? little fat man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you, getting a buzz on over there ain't easy. No. Uh, yeah. You just got to chuck some Purell, put a little scope in it for flavor. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's go to Tom. We're, for some reason, we have uh, now taken on Canada today. We got Tom in mm -hmm. Toronto. What's up, Tom? Uh, my, oh, I don't know if, if, if you're calling for me, but uh, uh, Dave, I think I saw you at the Comedy Cave in Calgary, but uh, since you guys are picking us on us uh, good Canadians, I just want to give you the big F you. Oh, that's all you got. All right. Did he just put a spell on us? Yeah, some trouble. Canadian <laughs> spell. All right. More, I, I don't think I've ever been to trouble. Calgary. Have you guys been there? No. No. I've been to Toronto, Montreal. Toronto, Montreal. And Montreal. I've been to Hooker, Vancouver in 1990. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, my last 80 American dollars went to, to one girl in the alley doing something to me, and the other girl was like, for an extra 20, you can pat me bum. And she came over. She oh. called it a bum, and uh, so my last 80 American dollars. It's great. That's how Jim... So you had sex with Oliver. Yeah. From, uh... <laughs> That's how Jim remembers places he's been, by the way, by the, the, the hookers he's had in these cities. <laughs> it's amazing. He's got a map. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, more with David Tell. His HBO special is this Sunday. I I, I hear it's a great Saturday. one. Saturday. Oh, oh, Saturday. I'm sorry. Saturday, Saturday night. December. It's December. December eighth at ten o'clock. Yeah, that's Saturday night. Uh, that's funny. Man. You named ten o'clock. Uh, Captain Miserable. <laughs> that's great. Uh, <laughs> uh, so December. Womp, womp. I was going to name it. Womp 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 womp. <laughs> <laughs> and Bill Burr, Caroline's all weekend long. We'll continue. It's Opie and Anthony. Yeah, that, that's the problem. You're yeah. checking out the Opie and Anthony show. David Tell in studio today. It's been a long time, Dave. Yes. Thanks for having me in, guys. Cause, uh, no problem. You know, let's face it, there's a writer's strike on. Huh? You know, <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. supposed to be on, um, I don't know, what's a funny reference? Oh, um, uh, yeah, uh, Carson, da no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no. No, not Carson Daly. But Dave's got his HBO special this Saturday at 10 o'clock. Yeah, it's a, it's a rough time to promote just because none of the shows are doing anything. But then again, nobody's nobody's got live programming, so many people will watch it because it's something new and fresh. Yeah, you, you got to think. It's more like a housewife delivering that. I'm yeah. doing it old school, you know, flyers, uh, bikini car wash. Uh, you know, get the message out. Word of mouth. Yeah, you know. <laughs> bikini car wash. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's really cool. There's a girl with large breasts holding up an Insomniac DVD. No, when was wow. that? Now. Was that my house? <laughs> no, who is? Look at that no. rack, as they used to say. <laughs> that must See. be one of your... You look, guys, oh, 
do you have the whip it out Wednesday? And like, yeah, we still do that. I, I don't. We, I, well, like oh, I'm coming out of a time. Well, no, well, no. what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Where's that young fella I miss? <laughs> <laughs> well, we kind of downplay young upstart. We downplay it these days because uh, we're too busy to actually completely focus on it. But whatever. Well, that's cool that know. that you get to do. You know, yeah. like we were just talking about the regulations and all that kind of stuff. It's uh, it, it's amazing that you get away with anything now. You know, I, I love, mean, yeah. Go ahead. No, no. I, I was I'm afraid say, to say anything after that. I was, only, <laughs> I was just going to say there's nothing better than when you're doing a comedy club and you get a chick to flash just because the girls right. are so not used to having, like, you know, girls show their rack in the club. Mm -hmm. nice. mm. Nothing there. Nice. <laughs> I ran out of steam before I started, but then the pressure was on. <laughs> I completely folded. I feel like this is my moment and I'm blowing it. No, no, you're, Dave, you're killing. <laughs> hey, uh, it's Renee's last day. We got a lot of funny people are you in kidding the studio me? today. And she does a bit for us uh, <laughs> called What Renee Thinks is Funny. Maybe we should uh, give her a little attention today. Where the hell is she going? Why not? Renee's one of wow. our... Renee! Renee's our, has... She's been our intern for the last three years. And I think today she's finally given up on being hired. I think that's what it comes what down to. What happened? One of the few decent human way. beings. Oh, were you hoping to get hired we by this stupid show? This? Yeah. Well, in them. So who could we... Duffy and everybody. Who could we uh, fire um, so she could get a job? Steve. You just got it like in comedy. Right. Just give it six more months, honey. I you just got to hang in there. Wait it out. <laughs> so you're giving up today? Aww. Today's the to, day? Yeah, Where are you headed? To. Oh, man. Yeah, what are you doing? All right, you know what? I really don't care. I love them. I, it's what I want to do. I'm going to Z100. You whore. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> How could, after what yeah, we did for you. Get out. You're going to Z100? After all we did for you I here. I know. I am so I sorry. But what are you going to be doing there? I'm going for the morning zoo. Holy really? crap! But wait, how is that? That's where. Wait, that, wait, that's wait. Not a, a, are you going to be working for the morning zoo, or yeah. are you going to get coffee oh, uh, for them? Intern, interning. Yeah. That's not a. Uh, can you something. stand next to her so I can attack her? Yeah, wait. really. I <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> the I'm excited. Damage. Okay. I, I know. I told well, wait, you guys. You but said it was because you couldn't afford it, but if you can't afford it, what, where I park now is cost fourteen dollars a day to park. Where are you going to park for Z100? I take the light rail. Is that in Canadian? What are you talking about? Light like rail on the turnpike. By the way, for the rest of America, Z100 is a is a pop craft. Station. I think you could tell by the <laughs> pop name, <laughs> just Z100. I know. But what are you talking about? But I thought we were turning it. Serious rotation. She came to us uh, loving Z100, but I think you started liking the Opie and Anthony no, show, right? Like it. You never liked us, huh? I did. I did, but I like both. I like. But now you have to like Z100. No, I don't have to like anything. But I'm saying I like everything, and mm. I've always liked them from. We were going to throw you a party. You know what? Uh, party? Cancel the party. Yeah. Wait cancel yeah. the party. Uh, no Kenny. talk about party. Yeah, well, because it was going to be a surprise. Well, not the way these people keep secrets. It was Whoa. She's a loose cannon on a rolling deck. She's got too many ideas. Get her out of here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You uh, So you're leaving our... Um, I don't even know who does mornings over Non-paying job. Who does mornings it's over there? Elvis Duran. Elvis. It's a crazy show. They they, they like they, they do the they also do the phony phone pranks, but the guys always get so mad. I'm like, man, what are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> You're getting people all PO'd all of a sudden. Our non paying job, you're leaving for their non paying job. Yes, but it's a lot cheaper. She's making it's statement. cheaper by fourteen dollars a day. Yeah. Okay. But they're also all only, right. only That's all right. We never really liked you anyway. Countries. It's no big deal. If um <laughs> If, uh, oh, they're, in they're in Jersey. How come they don't say that? Z100. Yeah. Well, you Jersey. know where the light rail is. <laughs> what, what is this future city you're talking about? The, <laughs> the hovercraft? Is that where you're taking it to the cloud cloud steps? I'm taking a Jetsons car uh, yeah. over the river every day? <laughs> oh, light rail, of yeah. course. <laughs> so you're, uh, you're, you're going to go over there and pretty much blab everything you heard and saw no, over here? Yeah. No, absolutely no? not. No? Good. Oh, I would. Blab everything over there? No, I don't do that. Oh, not well. at all. I kind of feel sorry for you. Why? Elvis, ugh. Oh, ugh. I don't care. It's He's I'm very excited. It's what I want to do. He's yeah. everything that radio shouldn't be. <laughs> it's what you. So it's not right just now. the money. It's, right. it's what you want to do. She's actually nodding yes. By the way. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's 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 what I want to do. <laughs> I've. What are you gonna do? Because she she was prepared for this. She knew yeah. she was gonna oh, yeah, get crashed. So now she's on. just like, <laughs> I'm, I'm I know you're gonna be in, you're gonna be an intern, but have they give you your responsibilities? They give me a brief overview. All right. What does that entail? Coffee black. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's very minimal of getting breakfast and coffee. A, a lot more, you know, on hands on. Oh, so what you're saying is we pretty much didn't really give you a chance <laughs> to do anything. We 
And yeah. Yeah. I know that's what they told you. They it's going to be a lot of hands on, hands on the coffee. <laughs> yeah. and have they breakfast. have they given you the speech? You know, the make believe you straight speech yet, or, <laughs> <laughs> or uh, maybe they wait for you to, to actually start working there. Don't ask, don't <laughs> ask. <laughs> and I didn't mention a name, by the way. Let's just keep it right there. Of course, hey, the make believe he's straight speech. <laughs> You're going to be getting that one soon. Did uh, what, what? What happened here that you didn't like? Anything happened here that you didn't like? Hmm. You can say now. Besides Pat it. Duffy. No. Come on, what happened that you don't like? Tell us. You can. That's the last day. You yeah, this is it. Time. We'll never yeah. see you again. I don't, like don't leave on bad terms. You're not leaving on bad terms. What don't worry, we'll never have you say. back. Can you actually <laughs> give an honest assessment of? Pretty much everybody in this room that you, you've worked with and okay. stuff. Give an honest assessment of the people that you've worked with. Oh, that's good. It's kind of so right. I knew this was Kind of quickly, really? just like, you know. Like, leave on an honest everybody? note. Everybody? Like, well, yeah, yeah. But, or and, and anyone and that don't comes leave, to mind. Maybe. Don't leave anything out, things that you didn't like about people. You know, put that in there. Okay. Just give a quick overview on, let's start with E-Rock. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I honestly, if you're gonna bring him to Z100 with you, right? He's gonna start crying. You know what? If never mind, I was gonna say something. But say it. <laughs> you well, know what? If he, <laughs> say it. If you're ugly, leaves, I'll take his job. Wow. Oh. No, you won't. All right. Oh. <laughs> so you want to sit and do nothing all day? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do now. No, I'm kidding. Whoa. Oh, hey. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. Okay, uh, Sam. How do you feel about Sam? Sam. Uh, I wish I could learn more about the videotaping. I, I, wanna, I wanted to learn she that. Did, you want to do everything. She well, you know what? Nobody really showed you anything. Uh, yeah, do the I show. I you you don't understand more. what's going on here, Anthony. She's basically saying that she didn't really... What, you, what did you learn from us? How to get coffee. How to get coffee. Oh. Every store... I know where to go and get to See, now. you learned a little geography around uh, Manhattan. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I'll, I'll be honest with you. Here's, well, here's oh, why. Okay. Everybody was probably so petrified of like being alone with you to do anything because of some kind of uh you you might have said oh my god he touched me <laughs> <laughs> you know that bill burr bit because it would have been it, it probably would have been nice to go like hey let me show you some production or something right. and how that works let's go alone in the production room and then all of a sudden you come out and you know your sweater's askew i know right oh, wait, hold on, that's how you move up <laughs> mace are in the guy's eyes basically what Ant's saying is you're a victim of past sexual harassment uh cases yeah, uh, yeah. I'd love to agree with that, but I think it's just that everybody's lazy. That is so, Everyone's just lazy. Yeah, this young yeah, woman okay. starting out her career in broadcast, you guys are totally <laughs> dumping on that? I know. Isn't that awful? When no. you were a little girl, did you go home like set up like a lot of little knobs and stuff like that? Like, woo, you're on. Call her. <laughs> bring, bring, bring. No. no. Tin cans with so. string yeah. tied to them. So what didn't you want to say? You can give an honest assessment. Or you have a few minutes left. Don't hold back. That's what. Yeah. I just, I just wish I could have learned more about production and then. And who could have showed you? Who should have showed you? Well, good idea. Who should have shown me? I mean, basically <laughs> wishes she could have learned something. Yeah. What's the worst thing you said? <laughs> What's the worst thing you said off air when you walked out of here when you really started bitching about how you weren't uh, learning anything? Hmm. God, Dovey has to has to sit in studio every single day. Wow. Even he's not even here right now. That's why I'm saying it. <laughs> why did you just ask somebody though? Because uh, just in case they might not. I don't know. You know did what? I, mm. Honestly, I, I don't know why I didn't ask. Squeaky somebody. wheel. I told Renee one right. time. I said one time, like if you have any bit ideas or any of that stuff, you should come right to us well, with gonna, bit ideas. Like, so we're you, gonna do the last uh, oh, what absolutely. Renee thinks is funny bit. Yes, you even had your own bit. You had your own. Yeah, had, had your own is, bit. You know what though? I did not expect that, and I do appreciate. I don't that. think you'll get uh, your own bit over at Z100. No, I don't. I don't tell you the truth. I don't think I will. I don't no, think you'll get your own bit unless it's who's the least funny person in the room, and you just sweepingly point at all of them. Well, this is what uh, Renee thinks is funny today. Okay. Her last, uh, Watch it be Elvis Duran. <laughs> that would be the, the move to make. That would be good. Uh, basically, this is a three-year-old, um, and he's asked about monsters. And yeah. You, and you found this funny. Well, it was like the... Uh, I completely forgot what the other one was about, where she... Sparkling Wiggles. <laughs> you brought uh, Sparkling Wiggles? No, no, no. It's similar to No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Not that at all. It's very it's similar, but not okay. that. Okay. All right. This is what Renee finds uh, funny. Here it is. And tell mommy again what you said you were going to do to him if he came here. I said I'm going to kick his ass. Oh. <laughs> That's not nice. If he's going to come in here, he's going to kick my ass. <laughs> <laughs> um. He, he will. 
Yeah. Who <laughs> <laughs> so can I in the movie? Your mouth. You will come out and kiss my ass. <laughs> okay. And I can kiss his ass. Okay. But that's not a nice word. You should say kick his butt. Oh. What's the difference, really? Let's stop. That's, that's only funny if that kid is 17. <laughs> <laughs> that's adorable. Awesome. Little kids cursing, uh, you, you find funny. Yeah. I do, too, to tell you the ask truth. what you say, but you do anyway just to hear him say it again. Yeah. Something it's about little funny. kids cursing is really funny. I, I didn't like the way the mother funny. milked it, though. The mother yeah, mother yeah. Yes. yeah. She <laughs> milked it like eight times. What? You, what? What? And what? Then she says it, then she goes, oh, say butt to try to redeem herself. I gotta, I gotta do an honest moment after hearing that audio. I don't know how the, the show survives without Renee. Well, since I'm half hard, I really <laughs> <laughs> with a little lisp at the end. It was like very Kramer versus Kramer. Can I have some chalky cheap cookie? Like you know, like too cute, you know. <laughs> All right. Well, here's the awkward moment where we tell Renee uh, goodbye. She wouldn't say anything mean about anybody though. That's all right. She's, but I'm not a mean person. She's got to. You've got to have some yeah, kind of does. problem with she something. Crashes. When she leaves, she says stuff. <laughs> yeah. You You're know right. she does. You Who do you think is the right. biggest? So, so, so let, let some stuff I'm out there. Who do you think Why is the you? biggest incompetent here? <laughs> they don't even on have staff or interns? Either or. Either or. First on staff. <laughs> No. Come on, you might as well. No, I'm not going. No, there. you should because it will help us. Help us on the way out because you have no motive to lie. Yeah, so they don't lose anybody again. As it, yeah. Yeah. No, I thought you bashed you off it. No. no who's going to bash you? Ugh. Who's going to bash you? You're very popular. God, is she perfect for Z100 or what? <laughs> She's already. What anyone else noticing this? <laughs> She's anticipating the silly string party they're going to have. How they greet you over there. <laughs> Welcome aboard! <laughs> whack, whack, yeah. Hey, hey! <laughs> Welcome aboard! You're more of a uh, coming up uh, another eight in a row type uh, intern. <laughs> She's perfect for that type of radio. Perfect. Oh. And there's nothing wrong with that. You can't let him say that. Now you you got to come back with something. You got to attack him. Come on. I got nothing. I, I can't. Yes, you do. Oh, You're no. sitting on it. Oh, that. that causes cancer. You can't sit on stuff like that. You got to let it out. Does it really? Watch, I will come back with something so good, I'd be like, I should have said that. But I, not right now, I can't. Let her turn her knob. <laughs> <laughs> well, Pat Duffy is oh. requesting your goodbye music. This is it for you. This is the sad okay. walking away music are from you, Hulk. Are you going to miss Duffy? No. You really don't like him? No. We're, we're cool, but he just, I don't know. What? I'm not. You do, you do know. Yeah, what? Is once they find out you're gonna get so trashed, I said that's great. I'm doing what I want to do. I don't. I really don't care. There was a little love thing going on between her and Pat Duffy back yeah. in the day. Yeah, a year ago. Like a year ago. Still? Absolutely not. What? It was a year ago. And absolutely. Did not. you guys hook up? A year ago. Yeah, they did hook did up. Did it end with the baby sure. bird? Oh. <laughs> All right. Was he any good? No. Really? Wow. I'm sorry. Why was I, we did nothing more. I. He kissed me, and that was it. Why was nah, there was more. No, that, no. Honestly, there wasn't. Mm, really? Why was it no, no, that it's Abe Lincoln River. beard coming at oh. you. Did he bite your ass? <laughs> <laughs> Why was he bad? Yeah. If he just Than shaved, he would be a lot better. Is it this guy? Yeah, Than wants in. What? Than guys? I don't Than. want him. Just talk. This, no, no, go ahead, please. Southern yeah, Fried Rock kid over here. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Than? Well, R Renee has mentioned that she's less comfortable when certain people are not here and i hmm. just want to know who that was if you could say I and was why less comfortable. um hmm. we don't have a lot of time so i'll say steve and jim just to get it uh, oh yeah get the ball rolling there and, was there was a day that you weren't here and steve wasn't here and it every day you're so used to everyone ha being around and they weren't here and it just felt weird oh. i was like this hmm. i don't know I like the, the gym part, but the Steve part. <laughs> yeah, you kind of wrecked. Because... Kind of wrecked it by saying Steve too. Uh, Pat Duffy squealed on her, and actually, uh, that day that Steve and Jim weren't here, this is all from Pat Duffy. Oh, it's yeah. not from me. No, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> that day Steve and Jim weren't here, in the same day, the next day she came and got on the train with Pat because they go on the train together. Light rail. And said, yeah. Please. <laughs> And she said, you know, I felt uncomfortable yesterday because Steve and Jim weren't here. And then Pat was yeah. like, well, you know, Steve and Jim probably aren't going to be here today either. And she was like, oh, really? And then 30 seconds later, she had a mysterious stomach ache and she was not able to come in.
Huh. Let me explain. Let me explain. Those actually were not my words. In general conversation, I said, you know, it was just a little weird with ha- without having Jimmy and uh, Steve there. You know, you- you're so used to have, have- having uh, everyone there every day, and they weren't hmm. there. It was weird. It was a little awkward. It's understandable. I'm eye candy. <laughs> <laughs> he, I have a general conversation with him, and he has to just tell the whole freaking world. Yeah. Yeah. No, I. That's why I tell him absolutely nothing. Was he a good kisser? No. Why? Wow. Because he just what? Because if he just shaved, it would have been. I don't know. It was a year mm. ago. I don't. Oh. Did I don't he have good care. tongue motion? Uh, you know what? I don't remember. Oh boy, uh, Honestly, that's not very good. I don't. That's I don't not a good selling I, I point for him. Talk about Duff anymore. Let's he's all. He's, he's very forgettable. That's what you're saying. Let's all acknowledge that the last ten minutes of radio was just god awful. And uh, speaking I'm of miss which, Renee. I, and the Renee listeners really... will accept that as an apology. Yes, yeah, sorry guys. Renee enjoys the 100. I will. We uh, we loved having you around here. All I kidding aside, it. okay. Sorry, all you listeners out there, <laughs> don't want to hear me. All right, okay. there it is. There goes See Renee. Later. Good. Renee did a nice job. There for she us. goes. Well, she'll still be over next time. Bye, Renee. Good luck, Renee. Good luck to Renee. David Tell. Thanks for having me. Kicked ass today, Saturday. His uh, HBO special will be on at 10 o'clock. Captain Miserable. Hold up, Renee. Wait up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. Yeah, Captain <laughs> Miserable. I've actually been looking forward to your special, man. Uh, I, I didn't watch the other ones. I mean, I watched five minutes. Whoa. Ago, Whoa. Really? Yeah. But I'm, yours I'm really looking forward to. All right. And also, we got Bill Burr. He's going to be at Caroline's all weekend long. He'll be at Caroline's this weekend. Uh, and Dave will be at Caroline's uh, at the end of the month, uh, December 27th through 30. 212-757-4100. And this works out perfectly. Because yeah. Dave's at Caroline's December 27th through 30. And then I'm in Westbury, New Year's Eve. Oh, I mean, yeah. North Fourth Theater. Uh, could it get better I for heard the holidays? About, I, I could heard you slur my thing. dates a little more? Dave's there through 10, 10, 10, <laughs> cookie. <laughs> Renee, now I know why you don't want to be here, Renee. I get it. Anyway, this Dave, is a jungle, a political jungle in here. <laughs> yes, this, I really did afford that one terribly. Caroline, December 27th. But if you want to really, uh, December 27 through 30, and of course, Bill Burr there. This Jim's week. a genius. He'll do everyone else's plugs just so he can yes. plug his own Oh, game. yeah. <laughs> Sorry about the acid reflex, but I will be there. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, perfect he voice really when it's time for really he does taper up. Dude, my irre- who, ticket master for New Year's Eve? <laughs> no one cares about it. <laughs> All right, we're, we're going over to XM to curse a little bit. Uh, you guys have a good day. Bye, Renee. Later. Bye. This is the Opie and Anthony Show. The Opie and Anthony Virus. Get infected. Hey, how cool is this? David Tell made the walk to XM Satellite Radio. What's yeah. up? Can I use it? Can I say it now? Yeah. Absolutely. What's up, motherfuckers? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love curse words. We turn into a candy land over there. <laughs> <laughs> we turn into like, I don't know, like 17-year-olds or something. You just That's gotta right, get it out of your system. <laughs> right away. Jimmy's doing drugs. Yes. Oh no, Jimmy. What is that? Jim? Oh boy. Chlamydia? No, no, oh, that's no, a big no. bottle too. Every time that is, oh, AZT, oh, Allegra D, AZT. <laughs> oh no, Allegra. I like it's, the Allegra D. It's good D. for my allergies, so I don't nice. sneeze and cough. Is that what it is? I got to get glasses. I was, I was over at that optical place. What's fucking... allergies when it's snowing? I like glasses. So. Yeah, a what? young a young lad like how old are you? I, I, I'm, I'll be forty in July. I, I was putting a. Uh, I was. I, I'm getting the lens surgery, so I was. I had to wear glasses for a couple weeks to let my eyes go back to normal. And uh, I was just looking at myself in the mirror, putting on glasses, and I'm looking at my fat neck, and I'm like, "You look like you're about to turn 40." I wanted to commit suicide in the fucking office. Uh, no, no, Jimmy, you uh, are not going to be 40. I'm 30. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm 39 years. Ago. <laughs> 39. Are you going to have a big 40 like uh, wow. me and my dudes? We're going to go to baseball camp. And, <laughs> oh um, God! And we're going to run midget NASCARs and uh, <laughs> have the biggest state you've ever fucking seen. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to do the guy thing? He's going to go on a man yeah. case. Oh, that yeah. awful. Yeah. A man case with his pals. We're going to parachute yeah. into Ecuador. <laughs> it's going to be great. <laughs> we're going to hit a couple of strip clubs, right, guys? <laughs> you strip clubs. And I really want to the next day. Of- Golf. Back to being pussy whipped. Yeah. <laughs> I really want to get a stripper and then impale her on a coat hanger and then me and my friends rape her and then try to cover it up. That's what I wanted for my 40th. Well, that's a good 40th adventure. The kid's 4 0. Didn't John Favreau DVDs. do that movie? Huh? <laughs> what, didn't said, John Favreau do that movie? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. yeah. I, I, was, I was about a bachelor party or something that went hey, awry. I'm such an idiot. Hey, like, that's like the <laughs> reference and I'm like, and I just named the Didn't, <laughs> didn't that a fucking... uh, movie do that? <laughs> Hang in the shower and cut you up with a chainsaw? <laughs> 
Yeah. Didn't they do that in Scarface? Yeah, Bill. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Oh, Bill, stop giving yourself the business. Bill oh, Burns. wait, was that Amy Sussman out there? Yeah, we're going to yeah. get him in a few oh, minutes. Oh, okay. I was I wondering just, who that guy was. Yeah, okay. just, I just got to mention something. Bill Burr's playing Caroline's all weekend long, and uh, we were discussing as Ecstasy of Gold was playing. That Bill and I finally acknowledged something. The last time I went and saw him, uh, you know, uh, filming his DVD, we went out and had a few beers and stuff, and we finally looked at each other and went, "Let's, yeah, I don't let's know, finally I have... admit this." Yeah, we we've never. I don't know if anybody who's it, listening. It to was the show. an unspoken thing between uh, Bill and I for years that we just didn't really fuck with each other because we come from the same place, a, a bad place, a bad place, an evil place, a, an evil place that, that no good could come of it. No, I just knew, I always knew, like, uh, the second I saw it, like, maybe, like, three, four days on this show, I don't know what, there was just something in your eye, and I was just like... I know that I, look. Uh, yeah, <laughs> like, I, I know, know his childhood, <laughs> I know how he grew up, I have the same stories, if I have a lock horns with this guy, it'll be the last day I'm on this show, because it'll just get fucking and evil. And five minutes later, you're kissing, you're fucking rubbing yeah, his right. back. <laughs> <laughs> but Bill, the, Bill and I have, like, issues about really dumb stuff, and, and this comes up because you were saying you were going through an airport, and people, authority figures in general just driving you nuts just right? that guy saying nine zillion times to take your laptop out in, in like it's like i fucking got and I, I like literally get to it's like such a seething rage every time i go through like airport security see i can understand that but i'm from a completely different place i see it as these motherfuckers even though i i, I really don't like the security people at all but the morons they have to deal with on a daily basis that don't yes. fucking do what they say. That just walk in. And they're the motherfuckers, not the security people. They're the fucking assholes that make the line so long. Mm. The people that didn't take, oh, I take my shoes, I went this, oh, yeah, I'm the laptop the shoe I bit. need yes. to do. I can fucking go through security in a second. I'm fucking through. Old I people. know what has to be done. Old people <laughs> suck. Around the holidays. Fucking, oh, uh, uh, right. uh. Old house frau women yeah, dude, I'm not, fucking I'm not suck that travel that. once no. a fucking decade. But see, you're I'm a bit just like this. By Bill the way. just wrecked. <laughs> oh, okay. Bill wrecked it by bringing up the oh, wrong. Me too. The funny questions they ask you. Oh, I'm not saying that those guys. Don't, those but people Bill, bug me too. But yeah. I'm saying you like, brought up the wrong example. I'm talking more like you're at a street fair and it's in your. You've told us that you know the. You've done the bin many times where you just want to punch muffins because it feels good. <laughs> That's the only thing you can relate to. Well, exactly. beating, beating up. Let me in on it. Where are you guys from? Boston, right? <laughs> I don't know where he's from, I'm but just, no, uh, it's just Long because it, yeah, it's, uh, no, it's his whole it mindset. Oh, oh, the mind. Okay, the, no, the, like I was uh, in the dentist's office yesterday. Lindsay got some wisdom <laughs> teeth pulled, and uh, I'm sitting there in the waiting room. And she's uh, filling out paperwork, and this lady sat next to me with a big fucking coat and gloves. What's with Novocaine? And, and hat, and a hat, <laughs> and she had a planner and a big fucking pocketbook. And everyone else is being very considerate and being exactly. quiet with their... Even, like, just turning a page of a magazine, you're just trying to be, you know, considerate of everybody around you. And she's just like... Going through her shit, oh, yeah. taking her coat off, putting it back on. Big stupid coat. And even her writing was just really loud. And Lindsay's like, <laughs> Lindsay's looking at me, and she's getting the minor, you know, surgery done, and, and she's looking at me like, "Don't do it, don't do it." And I'm this close to fucking making a so massive wrapping scene. Wrapping the coat around her Thank head you. and just yes. belting her in the face yes. as many times That's as That's what you I'm could. talking about. Bill and I can relate on that level. And she's not really doing anything wrong, but in my mind, she is a major fucking problem and needs to be taken care of. Mm. Yeah, just because she's writing and executed, and That's she's got post-its, and now she's going through her wallet, and then she goes and gets her uh, insurance card, and now she has to open everything to put the insurance card back at that moment. I'm like, and I'm losing my fucking mind, dude. I always felt that vibe, and then that one day when Poe took that kid down on the sidewalk, yeah, and I saw you snap, yeah, like how do you like that motherfucker? <laughs> yeah. That was like, That's uh, the yeah, guy. That's the guy. I knew it. I knew he had that in him. You were, you were, guy. You were smiling yeah. right along, though, like, okay, good. Dude, good, you, I'm you, not alone. You, <laughs> you missed an opportunity in that dentist office. You could have slammed that fucking bitch. When she was making all that noise, you said, hey, why don't you keep it down to a dull roar? <laughs> oh, <laughs> boy, that would have showed her. And it's just, it's like I got a, I got she a, said, boy, you got moxie. <laughs> were you raised in a, a helicopter factory? <laughs> 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 I got a parking ticket once, and I marched around the neighborhood for 40 minutes looking for the guy, and, and Lindsay's like, what are you going to do when you find him? I'm like, I don't know, but I I need to fucking find who this guy looks now. tries to look for the traffic agent I'll that gave you, you a ticket, <laughs> dude. I, like he's insane I, because I double parked in front of my place to to uh, take some luggage out. It was a weekend, long weekend, whatever, and we came back to the apartment. I'm unloading the car before I go find parking. <laughs> At the time that I grabbed my bags, went inside, came back out, I had a <laughs> ticket. I was out of my fucking mind. I had to find the guy. I never did. It but. happens to me at least once a day. I get to that level of wow. Rage. That's not healthy. That, yeah, it's brutal. 
I've been trying to like, I was on the way out here once again in an airport, and for some reason I stick my you know the credit card in. It doesn't work. You need to see a gate agent. So I go outside. I try to do the sky cap thing. He tells me I have to go see a gate agent. So I give the guy five bucks. He puts me in the short line, and there's only one person working our line. And it's like as I'm standing there, the guy up there like had overpacked his bag. It's like this Mexican dude. He has like a box with like a string. Oh, He's trying to and like the cowboy yep, hat, yep. And dude. That was it. And just every other word is fuck is coming out of my mouth and there's kids and it's just it's just I, not I, good. See, that kind of stuff I can understand because when, when I'm put in situations <laughs> where I have to deal with other people fucking me over, that's what gets me. When I watch the news and say, well, a lot of people are angry at the airlines for the delays. that are yes, it's, it's not the, the fucking airlines. It's the idiots that don't know what the fuck they're doing, like jackass with the luggage. People that don't know when they bring their fucking carry on and it's a god, it, sh it should go into a cargo plane. Never mind the fucking like baggage compartment. It should have a C 130 just for this guy's fucking carry on. And he's trying to jam it in and they're saying to check it and he doesn't want to check it. And, and strollers are fucking going up and going down that little slide. It's just people are stupid. And, and I get in line to do anything and I make sure it takes two seconds just so in my head I could go, see? I See how fast problem. that could fucking go? Right, right. You ever go? Now, D Jim's showing a, a little, he's got his prescription over there. I do. Pharmacies are amongst the worst fucking places for lines because you're dealing with old motherfuckers yes. that don't understand anything. So they go to get their prescription filled. I'll be behind one person, an old person, and they'll go, well, my Medicare card... Uh, should take care of that. No, you got to call your doctor. You're over the limit of something. Whatever the problem is, they can't grasp it. And it's it, not even in their head unless some fucking uh, <laughs> uh, big band music is playing in the background. <laughs> All right, Mrs. Green, we'll get that right to you. I'll have the delivery boy send it over. Here's the difference. I was at the Dwayne Reed yesterday filling a you know prescription, and I, I was the guy that said, "Hurry the fuck up." <laughs> like, that's the difference. Like, I can't help myself. I'll throw money at people that argue see, over, over like, 12 cents, I, coupons, and shit like that. It's like, but the coupon has this. She goes, but it's expired. But it says that I, I take money yeah, out of my oh, pocket, and I go, there, don't leave. Right. I'm, I'm in a hurry. I and take your shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, what is with the shoes and the old people? Because... I'm sorry well, to interrupt you, yeah, yeah, but I wanted to say something at some well, point I here. Had you. Uh, I, made, I, I made the wall. You know? <laughs> I, I actually have been online where oh, an old woman had to take her shoes off, and we had to convince her that she would get them back once they went through the oh, magical shit. machine. <laughs> and I said, they're going to be better shoes on the other side. Everything you've ever loved is going to be alive again. It's like a Twilight Zone episode. It's going to be a swimming hole and a gazebo. All that, all that dirt from those graves you had yes. to stand up out of the treads. You'll, you'll be in Willoughby. Yes. Stop Willoughby. Willoughby. <laughs> Yeah, good point. Dude, that oh, fucking rant you're talking about, dude. I address all that on my new CD, uh, Don't Get Me Started. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jim World. I can see the cover. You with a fist shaking it. <laughs> it's, no, it's just me looking around exasperated and like oh. crazy this happened. It's really funny. Oh, man. It sounds it. <laughs> you know what that's, that's like? How many, how many comedians have done that thing where they, they, you know, they create their utopia and it's just their name plus world, like, you know, Jim World. <laughs> and, then that's, and then that's like your whole thing, you know? You know like, how this happens. Like, well, demented, in my world. like demented world, Open Anthony's demented world that we put out. <laughs> oh, did you put that out? <laughs> oh, we put one of those out. Oh, God. Oh. But it was, you know, 1965, uh, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Peter in Massachusetts. <laughs> He's got a question for Ed. Peter, go ahead. Oh, hi. Hey, good morning. Hi. Hey. Hey, Anthony, what's it like to be so smart and so much better than everybody else? You know what? Wow. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the truth. Answer it's him. a pain in the fucking ass. Ignorance <laughs> is truly bliss, and I wish I was a lot more stupid than I am. But I'm too fucking <laughs> smart for my own good. I walk around looking at idiots on a daily basis. I hate human beings. I don't know why I'm one of them. I don't like driving with them. I don't like eating with them. I don't like anything about people. Are I'm not supposed to be here. You're, what, are you ever worried about your road rage when you're driving around telling everybody to F off that someone might just decide to fuck with you at some point? First of all, no, because no one ever drives faster than me, so they'd never catch me. Like, the people that get road rage and they get shot, the person has to catch up to them to shoot them. That never <laughs> happens with me. 
And uh, I'm pretty. I've, I've mellowed out with my road rage a little. It takes a real fucking asshole you know to what? get me pissed. And, and Peter, that that shouldn't be a worry because most people just uh, go after soft targets anyway. You know, the, the soccer <laughs> mom doesn't have a gun when you're fucking with her in traffic. Exactly. Yeah, but he, I, I guess, guess I gotta ask you, Anthony. What makes you think the traffic laws don't apply to you like they apply to everybody else? Uh, you bend the laws. I, I know because, and I'll tell you why. No, I'll be gotta, honest with we you. We got a do gooder on the. I know. Yeah, yeah, I'll be honest legend. with you. God, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> the last man on earth. I know enough. <laughs> <laughs> I know enough cops and have talked to enough cops to know what is the actual law and what's get away withable. <laughs> and I'm not. I'm not talking about like every not to cop. Mention you have those cards that you yeah, can whip PBA up. cards. But I'm not saying. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm impervious to fucking. You know. Uh, getting a ticket or anything like that. It happens. But, the, you know, I could go faster than the speed limit. And if you're not going to do that, get the fuck out of the left lane. That's, that's. Well, what about when you say you drive up on the sidewalks and fucking blokes? <laughs> well, well, okay. I'm going to sit there while a truck is taking about 20 minutes to back into a loading dock, blocking the entire street, and not drive on the fucking sidewalk that no one's walking on? I'm not plowing over pedestrians like uh, Grand Theft Auto. But if it's open, I'm going to drive on the sidewalk, get around the truck, and be on my merry way and leave the fucking line of idiots that but, want to sit there. But Peter's all about safety first. Hey? Attaboy, yeah, Peter. I'm all about... I'm all ten about and two, right, bro? Ten and two. Come <laughs> on! <laughs> Give me that ten and two. You are a pussy. Hey, seriously, though. When you drive up on the uh -oh. shoulder and yeah. you're stuck in like, tra a traffic jam, That's yeah. everybody's late for work, uh -huh. you just get up on the fucking grass and blow by everybody. You're right. Yeah. Because you got your stupid fucking get out of jail free card. Yep. Nobody's got that shit. You're right, Pete. It's like my uh, grandmother used to say, hooray for me, the hell with you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I am taking a chance that I will get a ticket. Believe me. It's not a get out of jail free fucking card. It's a, if the guy's in a good mood, uh, he, he might let me off the hook. But if not, I take my own chance. If I'm fucking doing 120 in uh, uh, 55, I don't think a PBA card's going to help. It's taking chances, but, uh, you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> there are people that take chances. That's what I do. And then there's uh, people like Peter. Ten and two! Ten and two! Oh, <laughs> keep it safe. Keep it safe, kids. You are a goody gumdrops. Ugh. He I'm gets sorry, a little crazy I'm out sorry. there. Sometimes he goes 57 miles an hour. Whoa. Stay in the right lane, hey, then. Peter. <laughs> Whoa, you know what? Happened? I'll bring up a prime example, and it happens every fucking morning, and this morning it happened again. I'm uh, in the left lane. Of course, some idiot doesn't want to fucking get out of my way. It's in the morning, too. It's like 4, four in the morning, so no one's on the road, but this idiot's got to be in the left lane. I understand this. I'm not even going to get on his ass and make a move. I'll make the move. So I go to the middle lane. The same time I'm doing it, a van comes from the right lane, into the middle lane. Now there's three cars abreast doing the exact same speed. Which is not safe. Of course it's not. They're all, like, bunched together. Get The van, I'm saying, could have stayed exactly where he was and done the exact speed. He wasn't doing this to go faster. They're in cahoots. He yesterday. was doing it to fuck me over. You're right. They were boxing <laughs> you in. They huh? saw me coming and said, let's... Fuck this guy up. That's a Dude. Colombian mafia trick. <laughs> machine gun you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> machine gun. All right, Peter. Yeah. Enjoy Thanks your guys. safety, all right? That's right. Thanks a lot. Yeah, let's go to James Ooh. in Chicago. James. I hope Peter's driving 55 and the tumor that he doesn't know he has just shuts <laughs> off his face. <laughs> <laughs> James, what's up? I love hey, texts from the guys. cops. Thank you, huh, sir. The problem Anthony does, when I, if I have to come to a stop on the highway, I immediately say there better be someone dead right now. There better be a helicopter in the middle of the highway. If i got to stop, somebody should be bleeding to death right now. Yes. You're not alone with that. Yes. That's a, that's a big year, yes. I think. Very good. <laughs> All right, hey, we got to get uh, Amy Fisher's husband in here. I didn't reckon. I walked in. I'm like, he's he's kind of a he's like a, a fucking like a Long Island tough guy. Yeah. But he's just standing there. I'm like, who is this guy? And then uh, then as soon as I sat down, strong I'm like, handshake. Oh, oh did I? Yeah. Didn't, uh, I didn't oh yeah. Him. You didn't? No, yeah. he probably slapped I'm from the him. island. You know. Strong hey, handshake. sir. Yeah, yes. Yeah. There he is. Handshake and a strong. Cock. What's up, man? How, How you doing? doing? Hey, Lou. What's up, buddy? What's happening? There he is. Beat me up. I just walked in. <laughs> wow. I thought I could sneak one in. I didn't know you heard that. Yeah, this guy's. From the Lee Marvin shape. generation. Yes. 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 Lee well, Marvin. Get from, get Lee Marvin. Yeah, we got a nice seat for you and everything. Yeah, Lou is a fucking big dude. He looks like he could kick all our asses. Yeah. Jesus, Lou. We ain't fucking with you. Yeah. Lou is a problem. Fuck? Lou, you are a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Lou's a fucking problem. <laughs> you can tell right off the bat, Lou is a problem. Lou's the guy that starts off clapping you on the back, and 11 <laughs> beers later, he's fucking mashing your teeth into a curb. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Is that natural or steroids? Let's get right to it here. Well, I don't believe in steroids. I believe you have to win the... Um, 
the uh, war, not the battle. Yeah. In other words, you have to lift and stay in shape to uh, stay in shape for the rest of your life. So, you know. Uh, Implants? What no, no. <laughs> you might. <laughs> Bicep you implants? I haven't done a push-up in about 25 what, years. I'll, I'll tell you what. I was lifting very heavy weights for a long time, and then recently I injured my shoulder. So as a consequence of that, I had to do uh, high rep exercises, and I lost about 20 pounds. So rather than walking around like a tank all day long, I'd rather walk around more fit, feeling better. So I learned a lesson. You're better off lifting high reps, lighter weight, and you'll feel a lot better. This is, of course, Amy Fisher's uh, husband, uh, uh, Lou, who's yeah. uh, in the porno with her, and we uh, we talked about it the other day. And uh, God, I hope you didn't hear that show, man. But we actually, uh, now that I see you live, we goofed on the fuck. dialogue. But He's going to throw not, us a beating. Amy looks fuck. great. I mean, it was nothing about, yeah, it was, she uh, was fucking hot. the I dialogue mean, was good. Amy does look, look really good. Yeah. And uh, we were commenting on, um, well, the one thing I guess we commented on, how many takes did you do during that uh, scene? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you know, a lot of people think that this was staged. It wasn't. It was just for our own personal enjoyment. Yeah. It, it, it's and kind of filmed like every other porno out there, though. It really looks like no, it's No, it wasn't meant to be released as a porno, although... Did you kind of in the back of your head think, well, oh, maybe? Because it no. kind of looks like... It doesn't, it doesn't have the appearance shoot, yes. of, like, uh, a... Uh, Paris Hilton's, you know, well, let me say just one turn thing. the camera I, I, on and let's fuck. Let me say one thing about those other videos. Those people plan the videos to be released in some clandestine way. Yeah. So they, uh, their, their objective was was to create... <laughs> the uh, perpetrator. <laughs> 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 their objective was was to make believe that they were, you know, they didn't know anything about it and they were going to film this tape and release it. And In my particular case, in our particular case, this was strictly... <laughs> You know, <laughs> home, home video film. enjoyment. He just sounds like a sake. cop after they overly beat the shit out of someone. <laughs> <laughs> I was and a cop. Overly, really? I was a he cop. Was a cop. There this, you go. This oh, incident, yeah. the uh, person in question. Well, I'm, for, you know, I'm out of the force like 20 years, but I still come off. How long are we on for? I was on for 12 years. Okay. Nice. Uh-oh. What kind of work since then? What does that mean? I've been an event video producer for 25 years. Were you one of those rogue cops? No. Just, no. We just it was just called being a cop back then, by the way. <laughs> this is an Before, episode of The Wire. There aren't any real rogue cops. <laughs> Before any, everybody had uh, those goddamn camera phones, it was just be called being a cop. He was yeah. fucking Danny Aiello in Fort Apache. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that's funny because I was in the uh, one of the few cops in the Screen Actors Guild in those days. Really? Uh, right after Sonny Grasso and Eddie Egan. Uh, I got in the uh, Screen Actors Guild, and I was in about 40 or 50 movies back really? in the 70s. Yes. In the true. 70s? That's correct. Anything Baker. we would know? Frank Sinatra. I uh, worked in a couple movies with him. Contract on Cherry Street and First Deadly Sin. Charles Bronson. But I mean, like... Charles Bronson. Like, yes. like, like, describe something we would know. <laughs> like, Charles remember Bronson. that scene with whatever, Monica. I was the guy. I basically did extra Deep. work, some day player work, some stunt work. Kojak. I got shot and killed. Played a detective on that show. <laughs> really? Do you it's have fun. dialogue? What you have dialogue? So you did all. I the had some dialogue, but to be honest with you, I was a lousy actor. So. How about the rookies? Were you ever on that? <laughs> the rookies. No, no I wasn't. <laughs> Swat. No. Mc McMillan and wife. <laughs> <No>. Vegas. <laughs> I never did it, McLeod. <laughs> true. <laughs> McMillan and wife. He was the one. Well, well, that I'm glad. With a woman. <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't on McMillan and wife because I'm glad I wasn't you know next to Rock Hudson. Cool. Yeah. I dropped yeah. something in the uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that old school. There you go. Yeah, yeah he just he he fucked me in the ass. Is what he did. Yeah. Yeah. Does this taste funny? Episode. I remember that was, that was he arrested <laughs> McMillan for drilling holes in the fucking wrestling. <laughs> Hardcastle McCormick. That is funny. People are just tuning in. This is Amy Fisher's uh, current husband, and I gotta say, right off the bat, you don't look like Joey Buttafuoco in person. I don't know why they make that. Uh, because, well, they make know, the comparison. Yeah. yeah, they make he's, the comparison. He's older than she is, and he's a big guy. Yeah, like, like this guy, he, Joey has a, he's just a bigger guy and an older dude. That's, the, you know, yeah. it's not even a comparison when you when you see. Uh, you, well, I think they, you they, they, those two are uh, compared to like a Laurel and Hardy or an Abbott Costello team. So. They well, want to get me in the mix, I guess, to somehow... I don't think Laurel ever shot anyone in the face, <laughs> <laughs> except with a pie. Well, you, you, can, I, can I ask a question? <laughs> As a fellow Long Islander, i got to know something, because I bought this tape, yeah. and I want to know one mm -hmm. thing. Who did the drywall? In the, uh, <laughs> in the stairway you know the scene. scene where she's on top yeah. behind a beautiful work. Actually, <laughs> tree. Just give me a name and a number after He's the very game. good. Though. You I, should see the finished work. He came out great. I saw the uh, beautiful where, home. Where Amy's coming up the stairs in the towel. I'm looking going, 
this spackle uh, on the wall. It's just sand. It's not painted well, that, yet. Well, that you goes people to show you that, that we didn't intend to have this released to the public. I mean, you know, that's... <laughs> we were like a room full of homos. And like, why would they have those drapes? Uh, yeah, exactly. What is that? It was strictly casual filming. It was, there was no intent. So to you guys were filming yourselves, and exactly. uh, so what's the story? Then you guys broke up for a little bit. Well, my wife made a, quite a few appearances on Entertainment Tonight. I, I'm sure you're aware of that. Where uh, sure. She had confrontational episodes with Joey and then culminated in her uh, being forgiven by Mary Jo. Right. Yeah. So uh, it, it, was a, it was a huge success on Entertainment Tonight. It was the highly rated show they ever had. So subsequently, another Hollywood <laughs> producer came to us. I hate to use the that police terminology, but that's me. Subsequently, the perp. I feel like I'm in a court case here. I'm on uh, yeah. testifying in a traffic summons case. <laughs> subsequently, yeah. We, at the time and place of occurrence. Pull out night sticks. At the time and place of occurrence. We uh, ascertained. I got a 317, and uh, I'm looking at a 289. Well, I couldn't help myself. I was listening to you guys talk about the traffic violation, so yeah. it's just uh, kind of like. So wait, you, 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 you are you are. Um, Hold on, yeah. So another producer after the right. uh, success of the entertainment uh, appearances uh, got a hold of wanted Amy. to ride that wave into a possible reality show. So Affirmative. He uh, he put them together. Uh, they were chatting on the phone. Uh, you know, over due how, course. How of annoyed time. were you as her husband though? Like, what, 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 did she say to you, "Look, I kind of want to do this," and you're like, "What the fuck are you doing? I'm married to you." Well, but, you know, I'm very low key, and this whole, and our, our whole entire marriage, basically, and the and the time I've been with her has been very low key. So I wasn't really prepared for this kind of uh, publicity. Uh, uh, just to, to, to really? bring everyone aboard, what we're talking about is uh, they w we're trying to get uh, Joey and Amy back together and film it for a reality show. Yeah, as uh, if they were an item. But it, it was so obvious to I think to almost everybody there was no, there was no there was nothing there. Well, it was obviously the, being done for. No, know, I'm not saying that. It did culminate where they did wind up going out with one another. Yeah, but so. was it really them going out? Yeah, it mm. was. It was. But I mean, the really? groundwork before that wasn't done. <clears throat> So was, then they're rehashing old memories and oh, one thing boy. led to another, and obviously that how didn't sit too you? well. How jealous were you? How angry? How bad do you want to smash uh, but if you go? Well, with a well. man, a man can lift three hundred and carries a legal pistol. <laughs> I think he did very well controlling himself. Wait, we're going way too fast here, though. Yes, yeah. because the producer gets together. He's got this idea. I want you and uh, Joey together. But yeah, the big thing is you. She's married. So how does she come to you and go, "Look, Lou, I gotta"? Well, she didn't really come to me. I mean, I found out about it. I was. Uh, MySpace. Uh, getting no, not MySpace. I was, <laughs> Sorry. I was buying. Her I cleared some, up the whole talk. <laughs> I was buying her some flowers for uh, Mother's Day, and then a, the lady next to me had a front page headline in the New York Post that they're getting Ooh. together for dinner. And I wasn't informed of that, and so obviously I. You got, had to find out from the front pages of Post. Yeah, I did. Yeah, because before that, I thought it was strictly conversation taking place for the sake of a reality show. Oh boy! And uh, obviously, that didn't sit too well with me. So you called her and you, you're like, "What is this shit?" Yeah, we, you, you know, we got into it, in, mm -hmm. into it, and uh, I was upset, to say the least. So uh, I, I left. You know, I was, I was living in a friend's apartment, and, uh, and you guys have two kids together, right? Yes, we do. Okay, yes, we do. Well, so. two words: revenge. Fuck. You must have went on the ultimate <laughs> fuck suck <laughs> fantasy well, mission. No. <laughs> yeah, you know. I'll put it this way: I didn't take it to the extent of OJ, but you know, <laughs> good, good. You know, I was more civilized about it, so I, I made a decision. I mean, I made a decision to uh, get revenge on the one hand and possibly make a, a business decision on the other hand because I knew that if I was going <clears> to <throat> divorce, it was going to cost money. Right. So here's on the wow. one hand. On the one hand, I could get back at her for what you know she did to me, embarrassed me, and on the other hand, I could hopefully make a few bucks out of it. To be quite frank. All right, I, I got to slow down again because it's something we talk about on the show all the time. Now she obviously is getting uh, back together with Joey at the time, and now you might be heading toward a divorce case. And this is how fucked up the divorce laws. We have to go down this road again. You would have to end up paying for this shit. And losing a lot of lot of money the and house, possibly the, the house, beautiful house because yeah. she's decided to go. Uh, well, you know, I'm going to wind up paying for it in any event. So if I have to pay for it, screw her, screw him. I'll make a few bucks and right. I'll take the earnings out of that and pay for it rather right. than my hard earned so, money. So you had all this uh, videotape, you guys. Obviously, how many how many hours of uh, uh, taping did you guys? Oh, do? There's a lot. I mean, we did over 
few years. Is there a box? Jesus. There's, There's more. A few years. There's more. <laughs> Is there a, wow. A box set in your future? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the remaster of a few years of, of, wow. How did you meet Amy Fisher? Like, when you first met her, you obviously knew who she was before you met her. And that Actually, me, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, well, yeah, I did know who she was, but uh, believe it or not, I... I didn't even know who you guys were, so I didn't even follow. What? That's right. Sorry, like a lot I don't of want to offend anyone. But <laughs> so right. what, what happened? She was in the news a little more than us. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's true. But you met her, and and when did did it turn you on? Like you know, I'm hooking up with Amy Fisher. Like no, no, because I'm an event video producer, and I've filmed people from uh, Mickey Mantle, JFK Jr. So I've met a lot of celebrities, so-called celebrities in my life. So that didn't impress me. I went on a, a blind date. <laughs> That's how we got her. I went on a, no, no, <laughs> Amy, I'm going to tell I went, you something right now. You don't impress me. <laughs> it didn't impress me. She was hot looking. She's hot. She yeah. had a great bod, and uh, I was divorced, and I want to have a good time, basically. So I, I didn't care if she was. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You uh, went on a blind date with Amy Fisher? Well, I, it was a result of a uh, AOL match.com. Who drove you, Robert Chambers? <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, uh, wait, she that's was, she was on. on. She was on uh, AOL looking to hook no, up. No, I was. I used that. You know, at, at the time, I was about 49 years old. I was still doing the nightclub scene, although I didn't like to do that. So AOL was a good vehicle to meet people back in those days. I don't know how it is today. But, but she she had to have been on it to have seen. No, what she did there? was she she didn't like dating that much. You know the guys, you know whatever. So right. she saw my so-called ad on this uh, internet uh, match dot com. She liked the way I looked. She liked what I had to say, and she contacted me uh, via email, and we had a blind date. Did she didn't say I'm Amy Fisher? She just no, no, no. Okay. She used a different name. And you really so didn't she know shows that? up, and then you, you, I showed up late. She was waiting in the car. She said, "Look, if you want to show up five minutes late, I was getting ready to leave. But when I saw you, or shoot somebody, <laughs> oh, Jesus, uh, <laughs> sorry." She said, "When I saw you, she said, I, I, you know, you, you attractive, you know." And uh, she was glad we met. We had dinner at Bocce's, famous restaurant here on Long Island. Did you know right off the bat, like no, when you I saw didn't know. her? I did, I See, didn't, I would have looked at her and gone, know. holy shit, Amy Fisher. I wouldn't have no. known, honestly. Driven away. <laughs> what did she eat? But you know what? Uh, let, me, let me just say, what, uh, I'll say a thing in, uh, in her defense. What she did years ago was a reckless, idiotic act. I mean, not, not to minimize it. Yeah. But she did her time. Definitely. definitely and the true. lady that I know today is quite different. I mean, you know, as I know, she, she worked at the Long Island Press. She's a good mm -hmm. mother, takes very good care of our children. But haven't you ever gotten into an argument with her and at one point in the back of your head, like, this no. woman has shot somebody in no. the face? You know, you know what? <laughs> is that where the police training comes in? <laughs> you know what? I mean, it's funny, but but in a way, I, I don't fear anyone. I don't fear whether her or, or a six foot eight, 500 pound guy. I'm not, that's not my makeup, you know? You so. could have just said black. I mean, really. <laughs> what are you talking about? Who's this sweet out there that we don't know? Uh, I, don't fear, I don't fear a seven foot no. uh, black I'm saying, I, I Nordic can't. gentleman. <laughs> A gentleman who throws down a rhyme or two. Yeah, you're talking about a Viking? George, George uh, Mikan. In other words, what I'm trying to say is I, I treat people one on one. If they treat me good, I treat them good and and I act accordingly. So, so how did the past come up? You guys start dating and then No, what happened was is that she liked me and we were, we were conversing very well. We got along very well and she said, you know what, let me tell this guy who I am right away. Was this way I give him the opportunity to either move on right away or because I like him, you know, let me let him know right away who I am. And then if he doesn't bother him, we can continue on the relationship. So when we'll she said, I'm Amy Fisher, did you go, oh, that's the girl who shot the person in the face? Or did she have to then explain? No, like, no, I knew who we, she was when she told me who she oh, was. Okay. But I was more interested in the uh, chicken uh, dish and the uh, parmesan <laughs> and everything else. It didn't really phase me. <laughs> <laughs> you were the coolest guy in the world. Did you have yes. a drop gun in the bathroom like in the godfather? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, <laughs> uh, Amy. <laughs> Watch your hands, uh, drop it to the floor. <laughs> don't make eye contact. But don't look away. <laughs> by the way, by the way, that is one of my favorite movies, and my wife has not seen it to this day. What? I'm trying to. I it's said not you a have chick's to watch movie. It. It's not a chick's I movie. I told you, you got to see this yeah. movie. My girlfriend watched it, and she got bored during the wedding scene. And I wanted to strangle her. How do you fucking not like the wedding scene? The opening, father. Yeah, of course. Hey, let me. You are uh, one thing. Like you're older than Amy. This is how much of an age difference is there between you two? Um, I just turned fifty-seven. I don't know how old Amy is. She's thirty-three. Oh, oh I guess wow! She's, she's a young, great, huh? A young girl. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Dude, you she me the like, greatest. There was a sexy ever. moment in that in the tape where uh, she said something about like daddy. She said something like that. Oh yeah, that's kind of fun. I was fucking, we like that phone with that. And you said like your little girl's pussy. Like, to me, <laughs> I said I said I'm 
say that that's how like that's what their real you sex know, is like, but they had to edit that out so it didn't have that. The whole... funny thing is, when I met with the, uh, the distributor and they saw the footage, uh, they said, "Hey, we got to make this into like a guide to uh, proper marital relations." So they, you know, <laughs> they 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 were impressed by it. They you know they they liked the way everything flowed and the way we were uh, you know the way we got. How pissed Look. is your ex-wife that you're hooked wow. up with such a hottie now? <laughs> uh, okay, what was that? How, how pissed is my wife? What? Your ex-wife. Now oh, my you... ex-wife. Oh, f no, f I've heard. No nah. comment, really. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I've been, I've been divorced for 14 it. years. So. <laughs> no, <right. laughs> how do you feel about Butterfuga? Like, have you met him? I did meet him. I mean, I met him on the shows, and, uh, you know, I, I... Could you take him, you think? Absolutely. No, you I, I, matter of fact, I, I wanted to challenge him to that uh, celebrity boxing. Uh, I was supposed <laughs> to fight him on that celebrity boxing, but he backed down. But how about like a stomp down? You know what I'm talking about? Like a real like, you know, oh, hey, I can't believe you're here. You know? <laughs> Actually, we, we, we did have, we did, if you saw, if you saw the Entertainment Fuck Tonight episodes, I did have a, a verbal confrontation with him. When okay. Was, mm. You know, when he was getting on my wife, my wife wanted to come clean. They wanted to have an apology, you know, take responsibility for the actions. That's the way it was supposed to go, and then he came on and blindsided or attacked her. That's right. where I stepped in, mm -hmm. and I confronted him. Well, mm -hmm. being from Long Island, I have to tell you, it's either cop or mechanic. Yes. The them, they're all little girls. All right? I'm a hedge fund faggot. That's what you are. Yeah. Was, that a, was that shot at your house? That was, yeah, I was in my home, yeah. Wow. Yeah, because um, I, I would never say where, but uh, you live probably <laughs> uh, a couple of doors down from my mother and... Uh, Sal Shore? And Sal. Yeah. Yeah. But, Somewhere on the island. Yeah, a, in the same uh, community there. So uh, I, pa I passed your house a <laughs> couple of weekends. I don't think you did. It's a gated community. Yeah. Wow. You pass it. Oh, no, I passed it because I'm allowed right. in. Oh, yeah? They allow oh. you in. I'm Ooh, gonna my, my mother huh? lives there. I want a refund on my security. My mother lives in the same community. <laughs> yeah, Lou, you met wow. it, it, It's World all the rage. She's like, you know, Amy Fisher lives down the street. I'm like, really? Yeah, you missed what he was saying. His mom lives Yeah, my mom insane. lives there. Well, what community. is very funny is her and I can go out. I mean, there's no problem. Nobody approaches us. It's beautiful. But when yeah, she well, goes you. out by herself, forget it. Yeah. Right. You know, well, you, they're, they're not going to, you know. Gonna, they're not going to bust balls, that's for how, sure. How One of those she, how, meaty <laughs> fists in the face. Yeah, I don't think he I, just looks like he, he's a hard <laughs> fast man. He's a fucking, he's a major fucking problem. He's like one of those guys you have to hit with a piano. <laughs> 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 uh, I didn't think I was going to have so much fun. <laughs> piano. Oh, he's a fucking, you can, you can hit him as hard as you want and you just do this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, then, and then you know you're just fucked. <laughs> that fucking hair. Get set uh, my nut. Uh, yeah, you got So anyway, you know, I'm caught, caught between a rock and a hard place now because uh, <laughs> we created this tape. I didn't expect to be a porn star at 57 years old. My wife obviously didn't sign off on it. She was upset about it. But what happened was it hit number one. On the uh, AVN charts. It's and the, my house, I have it. Your house. Oh, good. Yeah, I love it. I hope you paid for it. I did. I actually did. Yes, yes so, we, we, uh, we screened it. Yeah, let's. Uh, we're we're doing pretty uh, pretty well here. So, um, you're you guys are separated. You got this footage you call Red Light District, right? Right. And uh, all right. So now they're gonna send this porn out, and then obviously you and Amy got back together. How long after that? It was about a month. And now you have to tell her <laughs> no, what you uh -oh. did. <laughs> Well, I tried to, uh, to stall it off with the distributor. I mean, they created this site. I tried. Hey, look, fellas, it was, a, it, was a, it was a decision I regret. Well, when you realized you were getting back uh, together with Amy, you must There's nothing I could do. You I must have been thinking in your head like, oh, fuck, how do I tell well, her that, this? Well, you know what? That, you don't see this on according to Jim. That's for sure. How do you handle it? You know, hey, in, in a moment of heated passion, you know, you might... But I want to know. Uh, I guess what I'm saying is, I want to know how that conversation kind of went. How do you break the ice and go, ah, uh, I, uh, I got well, something to tell you. Well, this distributor, you know, uh, I had bought up the uh, the uh, website amyfisher.com, and what I did was made an official site for her, which she really had no interest in. But I just wanted to buy the domain name anyway. So, they, as part of the deal, they took over that site and they created the site for the uh, you know buy the tape, and all the legal work was done. So obviously, when I told her, I mean, what am I going to do? It's going to come out. I had to let her know about it. She almost hit the floor. So, but uh, I have no regrets looking backwards. At the time, I, I felt I was justified in what I was doing, even though it was an emotional decision. 
And uh, Lou, what do they ask you? What is the? I'm always wondering about these things. What's the legality of that? Like, if you film, I mean, I, I know it's your wife and, it, and you're in it, but like, is is there a way? Like, because people always wonder about Pam and, and and Anderson and Tommy. Like, what's what's the legal thing she could have done to stop it if she wanted to? Well, she is trying to stop it right now. But what's been happening is that uh, the response to it has been so overwhelming. Uh, from what I'm told, it's like 25 times the amount of tapes sold in the first two weeks than anybody. It's number one out of 50 on the top 50 at the AVN site. I'll give you an example. Kim Kardashian's tape is not even in the top 50. Uh, That's which, right. <laughs> which, by the way, is that Ray She's not making money. So obviously she's resigned to the fact that it's out there even though uh, we, we, she had contacted and a Kim's lawyer. And Kim's tape, they're starting to say that she released her own tape, you know, like you were saying earlier. A lot of these, so, so lot of these sex tapes that the people in, involved are actually, no, you know. And, well, let me say, in addition to that, she's been getting a lot of calls for lingerie products and other uh, hmm. spinoffs from that. She's getting swamped with that and to do talk shows and some everything else. So she's resigned to the fact that it was done and... You, Probably have to make the best of it at this juncture. I don't know if legally we can do anything to get out of it. You spank pretty well too. I was watching uh, Lou <laughs> administer a spanking. Yeah, and he's got fucking just Sounds big mitts. Spanking. Yeah, no, I, I, real... I, was going, I was going very mild. Very I have mild to spank I have all those years of girls' very hands. Mild. Very like mild. Fucking Jake Lamont. I have little girls' hands. <laughs> I, 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 I have to spank <laughs> like 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 that. But he was doing a spank. Oh, wait, come over here, bend over. I'll give you a demonstration. <laughs> <laughs> he was doing a cup the hand and fucking the whole cheek. I was like, what a big fucking. <laughs> Those are good spanking hands. And just right. fucking in every room. You know, ah, we go in this room. <laughs> yeah, where were the kids? Oh, they by the this? pool oh, thing. The kids were in school or they weren't in the house. So this was an afternoon house. fuck? Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, it was yeah. pretty much broad daylight. Day long. We noticed the wow. light filter changed a few times too during some of the scenes. Like all of a sudden, you guys were in sepia. Yeah, <laughs> no, well, well, I thought that well, was a well, dream. Well, that really happened. Well, let me put it this way: I'm going to vet video produce it. If I wanted to really make a video, uh, you know, and plan this thing, I would have had a lighting crew in. I would have had cameramen in. It was well, the daylight changed. I didn't, I didn't even give a shit about uh, white balancing or whatever. It was just done for on. <laughs> Yeah, our own fun. So I mean, that's why some of the scenes that look out of out of white balance. Lou doesn't. I, it was funny too. There's one scene we were laughing because you look like you were skydiving. You haven't. Oh, sex. that was. The it was actually a really good fuck scene because it was just like it just looked like raw fucking. It was it was, yeah. it was hot. Which one was this? You, she's on her back and you're like laying on top, but you had your your left leg <gasps> one leg was in up. the air like you were skydiving, which I could never do. My fucking bag would tighten up and my <laughs> leg would cramp, but well, your leg was up <laughs> in the air. I'm like, oh, pretty acrobatic. Well, let me give you a little insight on this. This was very oh. difficult to, to do this because uh, we're having fun. We're enjoying ourselves, but we don't have the uh, uh, the benefit of an independent film crew who can walk around, get certain angles and so right. on and so forth. So when we wanted to make these tapes of ourselves for our own private enjoyment, you had a tripod, and you had to be on mark. You had to look up at the camera, so it was very, it was very awkward. So a lot of the scenes, like in the very beginning, that beginning scene where you see me almost like straight, you know, straightening up. I'm basically the viewer doesn't know it. I'm just looking at a tr at a uh, monitor to just make sure I'm on mark and I look good. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We wouldn't. So know. It looks very stiff. We, some of the scenes. Yeah, because there was yeah. no reaction. Mm. Uh, emotionally in your face or anything yeah. to you coming it was you shot you, the first load you shoot in this video you're pretty much straight face going yeah, I'm shooting a load <laughs> It was, like watching, it was like watching Superman well, get blown. Uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> you're just like, man. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, the, the re yeah, the, I did look like Superman. The reason for that, again, is because I was more <clears throat> concerned about, you know, being on camera. As yeah. opposed to, uh, you know, my head's chopped off. It's or, not you know, the kind of guy you are. So yeah. He's six foot eight. You know, it just doesn't scare you. First load, it's no big deal. That's right. That's I right. think we just should shake it do, do this in 24 frames. You know what I like is that whenever you hey, talk about it. It's, it's more of a movie feel. Hey, you just cut this poor guy off. What? Sorry, sir. Oh, no, I'm sorry. No, I, I, I do it in the comedy involved. clubs to him all the time. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Is that like when you talk about it, because you're a gentleman, you're from a different generation, right. now, like us, us, you know, trash over here. You're like, we're enjoying ourselves, having a good time, you know. Like when old people talk about that, they'll like, it's, I was in my mind like, hold on, let like, me get my walk around. Yeah. No, no, no. Older people, they, they never say sex. It's always like, we were enjoying ourselves, we had a good time. My mom talks that way, and I could always see her like being tea bagged in the back of like a Model T or something. Like, <laughs> we enjoyed ourselves. We, of course, you know, showed affection. You know, there's no detail. Yeah, black dick in her mouth. And yeah, it's like two in the air. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, the, the fucking forbidden fruit. <laughs> Listen, I, I, I have overalls open. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's class. That's what I'm saying. I didn't need to bring it up. I did, generational. I, did, I didn't drive up here in a Model T, by the way. Uh, so, right. now, you know, uh, I could get down and dirty too. But when I discuss my obviously, wife, I, yeah. exactly, we did things that don't. people do yeah. who are in yeah. love. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Four on the floor, airtight. <laughs> I found a fucking condom in my in my parents' house. I was, I was living with my parents. When I was 15. I found a floating rubber. In the wow. Ugh, why do you just stick it in her ass so I don't have to see uh. it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. that's horrific. Oh. Hey, shit. hey, Lou, how old are your kids? Uh, six and two. Do they get any... Allegedly. Well, I guess the six-year-old, does he get any shit about no, uh, no, mom's not past? No, no, You know, we live a regular mundane life, believe it or not, and we treat our kids uh, the highest priority. Make sure they have the best things in life, and we love them very much. By the way, I, I, I got it back, yeah, but I've heard uh, that exact thing uh, over the years. When it, now, comes, we're, to, when it comes to parents, Amy and, and her mothering skills and all that. We go to school meetings, and we were right on top of homework and stuff like that. She's really a great mother. I mean, and... Uh, <laughs> You know, this is a people. Have, people have the re really wrong impression of like who she really is. I mean, this so-called stage persona, and then the real person behind the, uh, you know, what she is. And it's like Jim, <laughs> <laughs> the real guy. She's just a, yeah. a down earth, regular, ordinary type of <clears throat> type type of girl. Is her mom like still Jim. alive? Sure is. Does she uh, approve of the relationship? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Has she ever you know, gone a into? Let me just cut you off on that relationship. A marriage. Relationship, Sorry. marriage, it depends upon how people treat one another yeah. and how they understand and communicate one another. Age is really irrelevant. If you take care of yourself physically mm. and, uh, and the two of you get along and you have things in common, those are, that's the groundwork for good marriage as opposed to being close in age. That, that really, you know, doesn't really mean anything. It's how you communicate. You, you don't have person. to explain that to myself or Anthony, so. <laughs> Let's all hug. <laughs> the, two, <laughs> the, two, the two of you are married? Yeah, me and me and LB. Yeah. That's, that did sound a little both, weird. You don't have to explain that to me and Anthony. Right. We've been going out now for quite a while. Let's cut up that pecan pie. <laughs> <laughs> so you're both getting along good. <laughs> yeah, but now that people oh. see you in porn, don't, like, girls... Like they see in a club or whatever, don't they like want to like you know? Cause well, you, actually, you, you know, kind of proving yourself, right? I don't. I don't go to clubs, and every everywhere I go is with my wife. And it can happen anywhere, though. Like you know. Yeah, but you know, when that was shot, I had longer hair. I got the military buzz cut, so you know, I wear a Yankee cap all the time. So a lot of people don't even know you know who I am. And then it's, it's fine with me. Mm -hmm. So you whip out that cock online and show him. Well, why? <laughs> now, if I walked around with my Johnson sticking out, then everybody. See, there you go. See? My Johnson. My Johnson, yeah. My howdy do. And my wiki wang. <laughs> well, what what do you, you call it today? What do you call it today? Am I cock. Yeah. Back. Back. Well, We've always called he's it He's probably not used to it on, on being on the radio and being that dirty either because, you know, most of the time. Oh, we can say anything yeah. here on uh, satellite, yeah. Hey, can we get Amy mm -hmm. on the phone? I think uh, she's taking my son today. You yeah. know, he just, uh, you know, was that was the excuse under the you guys worked out. No, 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 no. He, he, <laughs> believe it or not, he had he had surgery. He had, he had he surgery had, done. Uh, and oh, he just sorry. got out yesterday, and it's where we were yesterday. So tomorrow <clears throat> would, would be a better time to talk. So did you ever uh, go, get, go in depth with talking to her about uh, the whole episode of her shooting? Uh, you know what? I never really get into that with cool. her when she uh, confides in me anything that she wants to confide in me. It's between us and mm -hmm. special relationships. Unless I don't press her. I don't. Tape. No, I'm just wondering if she. <laughs> and you've had a fight. <laughs> I was just wondering <laughs> if, if she ever did. You know. I don't press her on that. I, yeah. she, she does confide in me from time to time, but I allow her the space to do it when she ever wants to do it. You know, that's one, of, you want one of those dumb kid things you do. <laughs> How come you know? kids always find guns, but they never find like the sex? Well, look what happened in this mall. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what <laughs> eat this, mommy? <laughs> I mean, look what happened in the mall that just recently took place. So you don't know what happens in right. some child's or some kid's mind to make them do something stupid like yeah. that. Yeah. When's the last time you belted somebody? Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> Probably when I was on the police force. Oh, really? Yeah, a while ago. Mm. Do you miss in it? In the old days. Well, actually, I liked it a lot when I was young. When I was a kid, it was very exciting. I couldn't wait to uh, go to work. I didn't want to go home. But Crack it gets, some skulls. It gets the pre you know, <laughs> believe it or not, I have a lot of respect for police officers, especially Definitely. those who work in um, high crime. Uh, what force were you on? I was in, uh, I worked in Brooklyn. Oh, okay. Yeah, and some of the toughest neighborhoods. That's fine. What, dec what decade? 
It was a decade when Lincoln was elected. Uh, I'm just saying 77. Oh, it must have just oh been God. some of the worst right. times yeah. ever. The Gennaro taxi driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The crack <laughs> epidemic. Well, I'll tell you something. I came on right after uh, Serpico, but I'll tell you there's one movie, uh, Dog Day Afternoon, yeah. which I was actually on that actual site that, uh, that occurred, and the picture depicted the events totally, cool. total fabrication, because the police at the scene at that time were very cool and level-headed, and they allowed the perpetrators mm -hmm. to be escorted out of the building and where one of them was subsequently and there's that word again shot on the way uh, to the airport yeah but the police handled that in a very professional manner and they were very cool and laid back in what they did but the picture uh, portrayed them as like a bunch of bumbling idiots so did you have a black partner who was too old for things? Actually, I had, <laughs> actually, I had, I had, I, actually, I had the greatest partner that any any uh, man could ever want for a party. He was a great guy. He passed away from cancer uh, about six, seven years ago. But he was terrific in that he wasn't big. He was rocky. I loved him a lot. He was right by my side anytime, uh, any situation. You always count on him. And he was a great, great police officer, and uh, sorely missed as a, as a friend. Hey, did you get that coat when you did uh, Kojak? Actually, that coat's an, that's an Abercrombie and Fitch. Hey, really? there you go. Yeah, that's my wife. Throwback. My wife got me involved in Abercrombie and Fitch, so she's keeping me up to date. That's the good part about being married to a younger woman. In that, you have no you have no uh, reason to get old. I have young kids. I have a young wife. We do a lot of things together. It keeps me young. And uh, that, that's a that's a plus in a so-called younger woman. You get to man. feel a nice yeah. smooth ass. <laughs> Do you have, <laughs> yeah. I, I, let me tell you, that goes a long way with me. Believe me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I couldn't be with a fifty, sixty-year-old woman. Never forget it. You know what? Uh, <laughs> I want to know what uh, Lou finds funny because we've been cracking jokes for the last hour and we can barely get him smiling. Here. <laughs> he takes it in. I know the He's good. I know the listeners are enjoying it. What <laughs> What do you find funny, Lou? Well, I have, you have to look at, at life in a, in a, in a humor, humorous way. You can't Gallagher. take everything too I knew serious. It. You know? <laughs> Gallagher. Gallagher. I don't know whether I'm, qu I'm quoting Freud or Immanuel yeah. Kant or whatever, but you know, you got to be, you know, you got to treat people with respect. You can't be on edge. You got to enjoy life and enjoy conversations. And Schindler's that's, List. Schindler's <laughs> List, absolutely. <laughs> well, cops usually have the best sense of humor because they've seen so much crazy stuff that, you know, like they just got to, like, laugh at it or drink well, it Well, you know, that's funny because or... you talk about my references in police terminology when I talk about things. And um, when I was a police officer for 12 years, it's never changed. Even though it's 30 years ago, whatever it is, I still feel I can get into a car today and do the job. So uh, I'm thankful for that experience. It also gives you a chance to view people in many different situations and understand different walks of life. So it was a very, very good opportunity. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff what? underneath that statement. <laughs> well, profiling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what? You know what? There's nothing wrong with profiling. Exactly. There's nothing wrong with it at all. It's, it's too much political co co correctness in, in, in law enforcement today, which is wrong. Uh, what in everything, have, actually, Lo. What got you up the force? 12 years you didn't retire. Well, I could have vested at 15 years, and what happened was I uh, <clears throat> formed my own entertainment company, and I was doing, I was one of the first mobile DJs at the time, and I was moonlighting doing that. I was doing big gigs at the Hilton and the Hamptons, and then I, I instead of schlepping this equipment around, I got into the video business. Of course, I was hiring video people as subcontractors, and I said, hey, this is easy. So I self-taught myself how to film and edit, and hooked up with a major studio in Manhattan. And I was with them for like 22 years. And then also uh, I have my own clientele on my own. And thank God I've been very successful. So I had a choice to make back in, uh, I think it was 82, whether to, to go from 29000 a year and a pension or to go to 250000 a year. What did you decide? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think this, I made the same decision. You said my career in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> Four years ago, I was making half a quarter of a mil. Now look at me. So, uh, <laughs> I in that jacket. <laughs> and, also, and also, at the time, at the time, at the time that I made that decision, the police force wasn't as attractive Fuck as it, it once tell. was because it was quite frankly very depressing. After yeah. a while, when you work in high hazard areas, it, it does become very depressing. Do you remember yeah. when freaking Frank Lucas got busted? Were you working then? Frank Lucas, uh, that, and that was probably something the squad, the detective squad handled. Yeah, I think uh, it was a major Denzel narcotics. Movies, what is he, a major oh. narcotics? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's something that the average street cop was, uh, wasn't involved with. <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. I heard that, that, that they took a lot of liberty with that, uh, that story. 
Is that true? Again, I was uh, on patrol, so I handled the every mundane task uh, of uh, beatings. patrol. <laughs> yeah, beatings. <laughs> handled you know, the beatings. Like handled the back alleys. Yeah, beaten. Doesn't so. that suck you didn't have the tasers back then? No, you know what we had? Uh, you know, look, I'm off for a long time. I'll give you a, a fun story. Um, <laughs> <laughs> See, this you, is what he finds funny. Yeah, Here we go. Now now I'll, give you one, I'll give you one of my <laughs> war stories, which you can't do today, but I was a rookie. And I went with a, you know, a seasoned cop to a, uh, a family dispute, some kind of dispute. It was in downtown Brooklyn, 7-8 precinct, which was a very, very violent precinct at that time. Most of the gun runs were founded. When we locked up Indian construction workers, you couldn't even get the cuffs on their wrist. So it was a very violent precinct, but I liked it. I was 21. I couldn't wait to do it. So we went on a dispute, and I go in there in the apartment, and I see this lady saying, Officer, I want this man removed from my house. And I look over, and I see this big, muscular... Chinese person from that Chinese. accent. <laughs> <laughs> Chinese. Chinese. Yeah. Hey, man, that was a Mandarin accent, wasn't I it? Said, <laughs> I said, what's your name? He said, my name is Wee Fuck I'm Young. <laughs> so anyway, he a very menacing figure, and I, I asked the lady, I said, who's paying the rent? She said, I pay the rent. So I motioned over to him. I was in good shape. I had my arms crossed like Mr. Clean, and I pointed him. I said, you have to leave. So uh, he gets out of his seat. And he comes over to me, and face to face, he crosses his arm, and he says, I ain't leaving. I said, listen, I'm telling you one time, you have to leave. He said, I ain't leaving. So I reach in my back pocket, I had a big slap, a big lead slapper. <laughs> the it, sap, that's it, what Kenny talks and about. One, <laughs> and one motion brought it across his head, opened up his head, the guy went flying back on the couch. I walk over to him with a napkin. I start, you know, absorbing the blood off his head. <laughs> And I said, are you going to leave now? He said, yes, sir, officer. I'm <laughs> leaving right away. Now, you can't do that anymore. <laughs> no. Well, those, those fucking, Kenny gave me one of those slappers, man. I, I don't know where. It's like They're a illegal, hard right? leather well, thing. Well, the slappers were good. The slappers were good because the uh, jacks would put a hole in, in somebody's head. Right. A slapper, you you couldn't see you couldn't see the consequences. <laughs> but he was he was disrespecting the lady, so it was good that you did a good. No, play. no, what he did was thing. disrespect me also as a yeah. cop. In other words, I fe treated people fairly yes. and decently. And if I'm telling you to leave, and it's a high hazard, violent precinct, mm -hmm. and I'm saying please leave, and the man's saying I'm not going to leave, what are you going to do about it? Then were you alone? Did, no? did, did your heart rate go up at all no. during that? No, I don't. My heart rate, my heart rate did, did not get up. I'll tell you another one where we went. In the, when I was in the 90th precinct. <laughs> well, I'm, 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 just, I'm thinking of the movie mont montage, the clock is just circling. Yeah. Yeah. So I cracked his fucking head. It's 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. <laughs> if what? you would put the cop talk over the porn, this would be like a double-edged sword of oh, guys I mean, want this. You know, <laughs> exactly. Cracking him in the head. Twink, twink. Oh, wait, and where's that coat? Oh, I so love I'll it. give you an example of how we could use restraint. I went on a, a run years ago in Williamsburg, and when we got there, a guy was laying in the street, stabbed to death. And the people were telling us that the perpetrator was on the top floor. So my partner, Rocky, and I went to the top floor, kicked down the door, and there the guy was standing with a knife. So we, I got a shot him right on the spot, but we didn't. Uh, Rocky distracted him, and I got the knife out of his hand. We locked him up, <laughs> and we gave him over to the detectives. But, you know, we do use, re I did use restraint. How did he distract to. him? Hey, look at that. <laughs> he took out he his cock. shot him. <laughs> he, took, he, he took out his cock. All right? <laughs> hey, I said it. it. I, said it. Boy. I did it. His did he, you he ever just... have to uh, shoot anybody? Or? Thankfully, no. Oh. Thankfully, no. Well, sometimes thankfully. Did you ever just sometimes wave it, it around just to... No. <laughs> Brandish. Brandish your weapon. <laughs> Were you there during the blackout? During the... Yes. The, the, okay, that must have been a wild, crazy, wild west... In it New was. York, it was crazy, oh. right? Yeah, that was around 78, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that was wild. I, I, think, the, I, think, the most, I think the most uh, <laughs> scariest situation I went on is when we uh, we had to face a big mob, a big mob riot. They were throwing bottles and rocks at us. More Vikings. Oh, Jews. Oh, the virus <laughs> tour. <laughs> no, yeah. this, was, uh, this was a Latin <laughs> virus tour. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that, you did your time, didn't you? <laughs> the virus right. tour. This was a Latin area of uh, well, Grand Avenue. I don't know if you ever heard of Grand Avenue in Williamsburg. This is a big Latin section. We wow. responded to a disturbance and... And they were, responded to a disturbance. <laughs> what did they call you, like Captain Blanco? <laughs> <laughs> Where were you during the uh, crazy Eddie bust? <laughs> you know, you know that's funny because those are the customers that that I uh, catered to today. Yeah. Oh, really? So Wait, what about this disturbance? Crowd. 
get get back to Grand uh, Avenue or whatever. No, so but I'm just a... saying you you can go uh, on one hand uh, uh, rescuing somebody or saving somebody's life, and then on the other hand you can have bottles thrown at you. I mean, one time on a late tour, uh, we were, were coming out of a job, and somebody threw a brick from God knows where, and it crashed into the back of our windshield, just missing our heads. So it was a very exciting type of job. You can one minute face violence, one minute helping somebody, one minute solving a dispute. So well, it, you must have been on there during uh, Son of Sam also, right? Actually, I was, uh, yes, I knew the detective uh, who uh, handled that case. But again, that was not a matter for patrol. Yeah, but they tell, told you to keep your eyes open, I'm sure. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. You see a cock blocker lurking. <laughs> Son of Sam, what a cock blocker. <laughs> the <laughs> ultimate <laughs> cock blocker, yeah. They told us to keep our eyes open and our fly zip it, okay? <laughs> So you don't you, want that you, cock you, hanging out. You're comfortable around <laughs> violence. Like you, you seem like a guy who's not uh, not one to shy away from it. I'm I'll not saying that in a bad I'll, way either. I'll, I'll put, put it, it this way. Fighting. I'll put it this way. Uh, with my Sicilian <laughs> background, so hey, to say, I could, no, I could treat somebody with respect and have a nice conversation. And if somebody attacks me or is violent toward me, I'm going to come at him the same way. So Please do not come to the comedy cellar. No, I, I don't think I can take him. <laughs> yeah. you know who He'll you be need blaming here, the you, table you need, behind him. Yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. what you need here would be funny. Lionel. Remember Lionel? Yes. He's great. He he was some of the, excuse me? Lionel the radio dude? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I heard some of his tapes, uh, some of his uh, comedies. He's great. Yeah, he was. Uh, he's one of the first guys to ever have me on television. Although my favorite yeah. comedian is Jackie Mason by that show my age. Jackie Mason. Jackie's funny. He's he good. Fun. Really? Oh, he is. I got two different pictures with Jackie Mason, and uh. both times he's looking the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> Fucker. Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you one thing. My, the greatest experience that I've ever had, two experiences, two celebrities who I idolized, and I don't really care about celebrities. They could, was One was Mickey Mantle, uh. and the other one was uh, Frank Sinatra. So when I was able to work in motion pictures, I worked with Frank on contract on Cherry Street and took a picture of him and I. And two years later, I saw him on the set of First Deadly Sin. So I took the picture over to Sinatra, and I said, Mr. Sinatra, I work with you on the uh, contract on Cherry Street. Would you mind signing this? He was very gracious and signed the, uh, the autograph. He said, what's your name? I said, Lou. He said, for Lou, Frank Sinatra. And I still have that to, to this day. So that's a cherished memory. And I also had the privilege of filming Mantle in his restaurant with Vice President Quayle, mm. which was great because... I was hired by some congressman to film the two of them, the three of them together. So Quail comes into Mantle's restaurant, and it's, it's like Santa Claus. He, Mickey, he, like he was looking at Jesus or something oh, like Quayle that. Quail was like that? Uh, Quail, yeah, he looked at Mantle like it was God. So Mantle was very stern. And then this guy who hired me was like hiding in the corner. So I told him, I said, come on, come in the picture. I says, you know, everybody smile and look at the camera and say Yankees. And Mantle goes, Yankees? And he cracks up. And it was great just filming Mantle talking to Quayle about his career and why he quit. And then all of a sudden, he, he brings Quayle over to another guest who was sitting in the restaurant. And it was Rocky Blyer, the Pittsburgh Steelers. So those are the two highlights. I, I filmed a lot of people over the years, from Liza Minnelli to uh, Jackie Chan. Was, was it Pitchman. before the Botox, Liza? We saw her yesterday on television. She looks fucking horrible. Yeah, you know what this was, believe it or not? <laughs> <laughs> believe it or not, what this was was some very wealthy dude hired her for his 11th wedding anniversary at the Hotel Pierre. He must have paid her about 100 grand or so just to sing for 10 minutes. So, was Mickey Mantle didn't seem like Mickey didn't seem like he'd be impressed with anybody. No, he wasn't. He was looked a little annoyed at first, but then he, he kind of warmed up the quail. That's fucking hilarious. The vice president just irritated him. Like, right, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, well, actually, what he, what he did was, before I went over to Mantos, he was talking about the Gulf War, and when he sat down at a news conference, which I was filming, he said, my kids could care less wow. what I do every day, but I'm going to go see Mickey Mantle today, and they want a full report. So when I heard that in my mind, Mickey Mantle, I said, oh, this is fantastic. So I got an opportunity to, uh, to uh, film Mantle. You wow. Did you talk to him at all? I didn't really want to impose. I was there as a, uh, a producer, so I didn't yeah. really want to get involved with that. You know, I would have imposed. I would have sat on his lap, got a fucking photo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I, I want? I have one question. Like, uh, when you were a, a police officer, what the gun that you carried was what? Thirty-eight revolver. Right, but the, uh, and the gun they carry now is the nine, right? Yeah, that's that's the problem with these semi-automatic guns is that people say, Jesus, this cop shot this guy forty yeah, times. You have no control. What happens? What happens is is that they react to a dangerous situation. They perceive they're going to be attacked. Mm -hmm. And when they put pressure on this, uh, on this gun, it's not like an old revolver where you go one, one, mm -hmm. one. You know, you put pressure in like 20 rounds come out. So you, <laughs> you have three guys shooting. It's like, why did you shoot this guy with 100 rounds? 
when in reality all it was was guys putting pressure and the rounds are flowing out much faster. That was the old days. You'd shoot bang, 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 right. bang. So if you shoot bang, bang, and a guy goes down, you stop. But on the other hand, if you're pulling that, that squeezing that trigger and 10 rounds come out all at once from three different angles, in the next day it's the papers that the cops filled this guy with 40 rounds. And it, and that's right. A, it's not, it's I think while gun. you're assessing the damage that you've done to the guy, you're still shooting exactly. because yeah. you can. You know, it, it, you, you have a, a big enough magazine and you have a, well, a, a semi-automatic. So you're, you're shooting. You're in that situation where you don't know it's life or death. So you're assessing his health at the time. Is he down? Is he going down? Am I hitting him? Well, but you know, as you're doing that, you're still shooting at the big target. I don't think anyone in this room wants to die. And if you go on a situation where it's a dangerous situation... <laughs> That's usually what you hear before someone dies. <laughs> I don't think any of you want to die. <laughs> well, what Am I, I right? So here's a proposition for you. <laughs> I'm going to make you an offer. You can't right, here it is. Yeah. Oh, great. That was delivered uh, perfectly. Is. What, I'm alluding, what I'm alluding to is that, is that nobody wants to die. And if you're in a situation where it's life and death, and you get a description of a, of a so-called perpetrator, and he looks like a, this perpetrator, and he's acting in a suspicious way. You go to approach him, gun's drawn, and you say, hey, put that down, or don't do And he reaches in to get a pack of cigarettes. You don't know that he's reaching for the pack of cigarettes. Yeah. And if you repeatedly say, stop, halt, and he keeps going on with that movement, you're going to That's a dumbass move. It is a dumbass move. Oh. But, but That's I'm, where your black partner would go, it ain't worth it, player. And he would <laughs> pull you back, right? <laughs> but, uh, but unfortunately, unfortunately, the Sharptons of the world have to mm -hmm. make political hay out of this and take advantage of it. And, and unfortunately, the, the police have to suffer sure. as a consequence. Wow. Well, how, let me ask you a question. How come they never say that, like, in the trial? Like, they never <laughs> seem like that side of the story comes out where you talk, like, no one's ever explained... The, the the nine millimeter the way you just explained it so it actually makes sense well, for the I'm, other side of the argument. I'm sure the police commissioner and the police department's aware they conduct investigations via uh, IAD, uh, but the Sharptons of the world would never come out and say, "Hey, you know, it was justified," right. because it, it you know it just uh, it ruins their uh, view of who they're supposed to be. You know, they, if they played it fairly, they would say, "Oh, this guy was wrong." He was locked up, he went to jail, or this guy is innocent, and we apologize or we came to the wrong conclusion. It's just not in his benefit to come out and admit there was a mistake made on his part. <laughs> what, so, can you, back what, to, what can I do for my abs? <laughs> back to the porn. Lou's got damn yeah, good kidding. abs. I was watching, like, uh, like you have fucking, your abs really show, and I, I have trouble knocking off this fucking well, extra weight. The, the way you work the abs, you got to be dedicated to. You have to, you have to make that. You have, yeah. I'll, I'll he's like our father. This guy he's really is. I'm gonna be your father. He's a renaissance man. He's a I'm cop. Gonna, he's a video. He's a porn star. If it's a gray sky at night, what does that mean? I'm gonna tell. <laughs> I'm gonna tell all you guys and all you listeners out there have a good abs. You got to look at the abs as like a baseball team. The way a pitcher is, you build your foundation around your pitching staff. Alright, so I need a Dominican on my stuff. No, no, what, what I'm trying to say is a lot of Again. a lot of building a lot of uh, bodybuilders only concentrate on arms. They want a big chest, big arms, but they... And you look, look at them, they got tiny stick legs or a big belly stick. Benny Brand. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I think bodybuilding should be renamed body sculpting. I think you're better off if you concentrate on the abs and then move out with to arms, back, chest, and so on and so forth and do it in a way which the body is supported in a healthy way. You don't overbuild joints or muscles. You, you build the body in a streamlined way. It gives you more mobility. And you use the abs as a starting point. And how many sit-ups a day do you do? I don't do sit-ups. I do all various types of machines, you know. And I use those machines in conjunction with Smith machines and other types of machines to work on the abs. I do. But, but diet is slapstick. Yeah, you can't. You can't eat like crap. No, you don't. Yeah, the really can't. The biggest, you could have great abs right. underneath a bunch of fat. Yeah. <laughs> the biggest killer of them all is bread. Is yeah. bread. Why is that? Yep. Because it uh, the, Stupid, it stores delicious in the bread. body. It, 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 the caveman had a a mechanism in the body where they didn't know when they were going to eat. So they would store, the body would store uh, carbs and turn it into uh, fat. And uh, that's what happens to this day. Right. People sit on it behind all day, they don't, they're not active. And when you eat a lot of bread, it gets stored in the body. So uh, don't eat as much bread. 
Uh, try to lay off the pasta and don't overeat. When you're full, stop eating. See, I it's actually it. eat until I'm shitting while I'm swallowing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I'm yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Swallow log push. Swallow log push. Time to stop. <laughs> but when you were when you were on the force, were you like drinking and smoking and like living the life? You know, well, <laughs> young you know young cop out there. You know, there was two together. types of cops when I was on a job. Uh, there was the married guys who needed the money for overtime. <clears throat> Right. And then there was the cops who did their job, but they didn't really need the, you know, the blood money, we used to call it. We used to make an arrest on a, a 4 to 12 shift and then spend all day in court and go back to work the next day where you had no sleep. So we used to give a lot of our so-called collars to those type guys. And we'd administer the type of justice we, that we had to do and also make our share of arrests, but we more of so-called ladies' men. Right. You know? So I, w I think I, I, I was in that second category. But the drinking and smoking, I only did at nightclubs. I never drank and smoked during the week. Mm -hmm. I always took care of myself, and I always did things in moderation. That's Just his out movie there. right you, there. Racking you, head you, and fucking. That's, that's, that's SWAT that's meets that's boogie yeah. night. That's his movie right there. <laughs> Were you also like the kind of cop that's like, I'm also on the uh, po uh, police benevolence to teach the kids how to box team? Like That's always like <laughs> no. the cop's cop. Down at the Y? Yeah. No, no. That no. gray on gray Kids, sweatshirt. judo is the way to go. No. Forget crack. <laughs> Well, uh, <laughs> Chest Rockwell. Yeah. <laughs> we got to take a break. So, Lou, are we uh, promoting this tape? Are we getting it shut down? What are we doing? Yeah, what, do, what do we want to do, do with this? What do you want from us? Because we have a lot of power here. Well, what I want, what I think that my wife is uh, leaning toward now, I mean, because of the popularity of it, we didn't expect that at 57 I'm going to be a porn star. And <laughs> she certainly didn't expect to get involved in this. So, but the, the results accidental are, porn star. Accidental <laughs> porn stars. The results have been so overwhelming that you know what are you going to do? You might as well accept it for what it is and roll with it. That's 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 uh, uh, that means plug it. Yeah, are you? Uh, <laughs> it's called uh, obviously from the red light district. Amy Fisher caught on tape. And uh, she looks really good. Beautiful. Yeah, did you give the address, by the way, the web address? Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah, come on. Cash come on. Well, you have to do is go to www.amyfisher.com. Uh, That's it. You can go to. And uh, the cover is even very sexy. She has this little red boy shorts, which I'm a big fan of. I like them, too. Oh, that was a good one when she <laughs> uh, she was against the uh, dresser let me tell you there. And... Let me tell you something. Uh, she, the... is, she is hot. Built like a brick shit house. Yeah, really wow. sexy. Yeah. Okay, that's your wife. She's in great about. shape. <laughs> it's great. You got to buy this just to watch. And it's weird to say that you have it. Just to watch Lou get blown. Because he doesn't. Fucking Lou rules. He doesn't move. He just, he just, he just stands there like a statue getting blown. Because <laughs> he's, he's still listening for uh, perpetrators. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Once again, that's Amy Fisher, Alpha, Mango, Yank, anything? <laughs> <laughs> Amyfisher.com. Tango, tango. <laughs> it's long, too. It's not like it's some fucking 10 minute tape, man. There's a, 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 a lot. lot of fucking That's in this tape. There's a lot film. of scenes. There's like a head, and, there's like, and then it just keeps going to different stuff. Oh, so, so I've been told, I mean, by Red Light themselves, and also from reading on uh, reviews on the uh, porn sites, that it's the, it's the best celebrity tape ever made. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, when you look at China's tape, uh, it was awful. The sex uh, wasn't good. You just yeah. wanted to see. You know, you know, what he should have done, though, after every sex scene, you should have told a police story. That's yeah, what he was saying. <laughs> oh, you said yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Bill was saying, I'm you sorry, know. Bill. Well, that, that could be a good... I'm with uh, you on that one. That could oh, be a good Dave, said, Dave, Dave said, it. said it. Dave yeah. said it. That could be a so good foundation for a, uh, <laughs> a TV show, right? Yeah. Sex and police or something like that. I love it. Are you going to get Amy on our show or what? Tomorrow, Tomorrow yeah. She's going to come on. She'll, she'll, she'll talk to you from the house. That'd oh, be that's cool. That's pretty cool. Okay. All right, well, the tape is Amy Fisher caught on tape, and it really is a... It's fucking, uh, it's good. Especially, you gotta watch it also just to see, there's some really good Hummer scenes, and you gotta watch it just to see Lou banging with his left leg up in the air. It really is a feat that of That scene's acrobatics. great. Fucking... And uh, the whole country can laugh along at the Long Island accent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, well, well, wait, it's, it's not that, sexy. <laughs> my accent's a Brooklyn accent. Yeah, yours is Brooklyn. <laughs> She's got a Long Island it, accent. That was so funny. My hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My hair. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we gotta brag out of pee. Yeah, we gotta. Yeah, that's a and good also, one. don't forget David tells a uh, special man, uh, uh, a it's great HBO Captain special. Captain Miserable. Is this uh, this Saturday at ten o'clock? <laughs> so if you're not gonna be home because you're gonna be out, at least DVR it and and, and uh, fucking Sweet Bill Burrow will be at Caroline's this Aww. weekend. 
There's nothing better than tapping a load and then putting in a little comedy. Absolutely. Right? <laughs> exactly. Well, it's still soaking up in your belly button. You fucking exactly. pop on a yeah. special. That's when you get that urge to read, usually. You know, it's like, hey, I gotta read more. Right, we got by, the way, by the way, fellas, fellas yeah, yeah, you, low, get, low. you get paid yeah. to do this for a living? Whoa. Yeah, I know. And that's Wait, you silly. got a job All right, me somebody's gonna... It's, I love fun. it's silly, I know. All right, my friend, you just crossed the line. <laughs> <laughs> Lou, thank you. It was a pleasure, thank man. You. Thank you. How do you say your last name? Bellera. Bella. Bellera. 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 Hey, Bellera. 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 That's got to be the name of that new sex move. Lou, how do you say your last name? Like a Fisher. Dot com. All right, we'll be back in just a bit. It's Opie and Anthony. It's like punch sound, woman scream, Opie and Anthony. That's right. Opie and Anthony. Your wedding is a day that you'll cherish and remember for the rest of your life. So why not share those precious moments with the whole world? I'd just like to say, I'm so happy I found Laura. That's nice, but not what we had in mind. And Jake, let me tell you, no one ever thought Heather would settle down with just one guy. I mean, you know, because, I mean, we've all fucked her. I'm gonna fucking kill you! The Opie and Anthony Show wants to exploit your wedding videos. Send your videos to Danny at FoundryMusic.com. That's Danny at FoundryMusic.com. And if you have no fucking clue how to send a video clip, you can always snail mail it to The Opie and Anthony Show. Attention Wedding Videos, 111 West 57th Street, Suite 500, New York, New York, 10019. And we're back. Here at XM Satellite Radio, having a lot of fun today. Lou was the uh, he was the real deal, man. And and Paul as he's leaving, Paul goes, "Okay, Joe." Yeah, he called him Joe. <laughs> I think it's three letters. <laughs> Way to go, Paul. Um, he goes, uh, "Yeah, what did he say exactly?" Way to go, Joe. Okay, Joe. Okay, Joe. Yeah, See you next Lou. time. I heard you turn around, and went Lou. Yeah, Lou was great. Chell had to leave too, but he had a, he had a really good time, man. He was hilarious. That okay, was a long Joe. time coming, man. We've been trying to get a tell on for a long time. Yeah, how funny was he? He was uh, hilarious. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, hilarious. he did a great job. All right, we got this, and then uh, we're gonna do line of the day. Get the fuck hey, out of here. Get the heck out of here. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. hey, yeah, guess the sound, by the way. Side. Guess the sound. Hmm. Uh. 